and, uh, Carl Pilkington. Indeed. Genius Carl Pilkington, as yes. Heat Magazine said. Really? Is that what yeah. he's referred to now? Yeah, oh. yeah. Genius. Saying about people tuning in just to hear his games, yeah. such as Educating Ricky. Have you got some Educating Ricky for me? Got some education. I need some education, Carl. That's I like desperately that. need some education. I want to learn about Chinese kids that are born hairier than average. <laughs> I want to hear, hear about deaf girls that can hear after their mum hits their head against a wall. These are the things I need to know. I mean, I don't wish to be disrespectful. He doesn't look like a genius. He doesn't look like a genius. But then I don't know what a genius looks like. Exactly. Really. So, Steve. you know, I don't want to be an look, look, look at Einstein. Yeah. 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 His mum thought he was mental as a child. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you get that information from? That was in the Einstein book. <laughs> well, it was in the Einstein book, then it's absolutely true. <laughs> Which but Einstein book is that? The, the theory of relativity? The, 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 the big book of Einstein stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the big bumper book of Einstein stuff. It's <laughs> yeah, uh, for yeah, a coach yeah. trip yeah. and you have to fill in, uh, yeah. E equals MC1 squared, <laughs> two, <laughs> fish, or three, hello! <laughs> and then it's multiple choice yeah. and you, uh, fill it, it's great. It's Did his brilliant. mum think A, he was a genius, <laughs> B, mental? <laughs> <laughs> so most people go for A, but it is in Ooh. fact B. Ooh. She thought he was mental at the age of 28. <laughs> oh, Carl. Oh. You never let me down. You never let me down. So have you got Educating Ricky for me? We've got Educating Ricky coming up. We've, we've got, got Rockbusters. Uh, we've got Rockbusters. Great as, seen, well. as seen and talked about in Heat. <laughs> in Heat magazine. It's got really tough this week now. We're not messing about anymore. Uh -huh. Right. Um, got some good prizes. Absolutely. Yeah, we'll talk about those later. Uh, yeah, because I mean, was it last week that you had the, the classic? Was it, um, I can't remember, I, I'm paraphrasing, Carl, apologies. Something like, I'm here in Texas, I've fallen in a puddle and my knee has got wet. Yeah. Wet knee Houston. Wet knee Houston. Whitney Houston. Yeah. And also, it was last week when there was a little bit of confusion over, uh, the one for Holly Valance. Right? Of course. Um. I don't think it was confusion. I think it was your error. No, yeah. No, no, it wasn't. And it was Holy Valance and you meant Pelmet. Ah. Then, one. Becky, who called up that time and yeah. said, oh, if you, you're getting mistaken with, uh, Pelmet, right, she sent me an email in a week yeah. saying I've done a bit of research. Yeah. It was my fault. I've made an error. Yeah. It is a Valance. Okay. And I know about Valances, as I told you last week at the very end, my auntie loves them. Yeah. <laughs> right? She, um, she makes them. She started off just like putting them on top of the, uh, sort of window around the curtain. Uh, yeah. And then she, she thought, oh, I can do more with this. Yes. <laughs> and she had a little coffee table that had magazines underneath and yeah. she said, I'm sick of seeing them magazines when I'm sat down. <laughs> she, she <laughs> sounds, she sounds like a Pilkington. So. <laughs> I'm sick of seeing the magazines when I sit down! So she put a valance around the table. <laughs> yeah, yeah! She just got valances around everything now. Yeah. Right? Then, yeah. uh, next step, uh, she, she tapes everything. She never actually watches telly, she tapes it all. Yeah. Because she gets sick of listening to the adverts and that. Yeah. So she tapes everything, so she's got loads of videotapes and that. And the video used to get on her nerves when she was watching a film, she'd see the clock changing. Oh. And it distracted her from the film, so sure. she put a valance around <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's genius! Yeah. So, that is or, really is it, or is it mental? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Only Mrs. Einstein can tell I don't know. She's even made her little, um, Jack Russell look like a hovercraft. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. Still, so it. everything's got a balance. If you, if you go round and you stand still for too long, the chances are <laughs> you'll <laughs> put a balance on your head. Yeah. Yeah. This is the, 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 this is Auntie Who? Auntie Nora. And this is the one that farted for five minutes. <laughs> less, <laughs> lest our listeners forget. <laughs> less we farted forget. for five minutes, called his mum, sail on farting, <laughs> Two minutes into the fart. She said about uh, two and a half minutes in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she said I'm about two and a half minutes well, into well, the fart. Well, my mum said how long's <laughs> been going on for? She said, well, uh, it was about two and a half minutes before I called you. Yeah. And then it went on for a further two, <laughs> two and a half minutes or something. And, uh, <laughs> then it stopped. And, she couldn't, uh, she couldn't talk about it because there was a balance over the clock. Yeah, she Because it used to annoy her when she was yeah. on the phone and you'd put her off, see, at so the time. She, it was she was guessing it was five minutes. This was one consistent fart. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't making a noise, it was just- Oh, it wasn't making a noise. Just gas. <laughs> <laughs> right. Endless gas. Mm. So, uh, there you That's go. fantastic. Well, we started off with a new one, a little bit of Foo Fighters. We like new and old on this show, don't Indeed, we? Indeed, we like to mix it up. I'd like to play the Smiths from their, from their uh, debut album, um, I Don't Owe You Anything. I Don't Owe You Anything. The lads from, uh, Carl's hometown there. Indeed. The Smiths. Brilliant, that one. Wow. I went to Manchester, didn't I, the other day? Went up to Manchester for what a little corporate. Uh, it was all right. Yeah. Um, I, the, he went, um, wait till you get out. You see, Piccadilly, it's better than Euston. Right. right. It was. It, the, 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 you know, it was, it was nicer. I went outside and there was a ridiculous queue, uh, um, uh, and sort of one cab. Right, um, yeah. So, uh. Horse drawn. 
<laughs> yeah. yeah. And so I walked and it was okay. It was only down the road. It was a bit dark. It was wet and raining. Of Obviously course. it's the north. I know, yeah. yeah. Um, the hotel know. was very nice but no minibar. I've never seen that before. I've travelled all over the world to see them in a hotel without a minibar. <laughs> no, so no, I don't know no, what's no, going no. on then. I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> um, and then I, uh, uh, I did this corporate gig in Old Trafford. The pitch was up. I don't know what they were doing. But, um, you know, very impressive. Big impressive. I think they're British football club, aren't they? Carl? Yeah. You did yeah. a gig at where? Old Trafford. It was in a, it was in a function room. Oh, there well, I thought it was the stadium. No, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not that big yet. <laughs> yeah. No. Um, but I mean, uh, you know, I can't really comment on Manchester. I do know that Liverpool was voted most important music city via poll. True enough. Um, so, uh, Carl, you're making noises while I'm talking. Yeah, but you do this all the time trying to wind me up. And I'm not, I'm not saying Manchester's the best place in the world, but what I'm saying is, there's bits of it that I really miss. Yeah. Like last Sunday, right? When I'd, I'd met up with, uh, with Ricky, um, we had, uh, had spaghetti about bolognese, which was alright. Uh, and then I said to him, I said, I need some soil. Damn, I wish you'd invited me, it sounds <laughs> amazing. Listen, <laughs> so I need some soil, what, what do you think? You need some right. what? Soil? soil? Soil, yeah. I need to repot a plant, right? Yeah. So, um. You need to repot a plant? Yeah. yeah. I, oh, fair enough. So, um. I'm like, where, where, you, you can't see you these can't, shops yeah. in London. You can't Do you know what I mean? Sure. There's been nothing around. I took him straight to one in my street. Yeah, yeah. but near your street, and that's probably the only one in London. Well, you say that, Carl. No, it, do, it does annoy me. Around my way, it's like, you know. You can't move for soil shops. <laughs> 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 you can't. There's earth. You can just pick up handfuls walking down the street. Yeah, incredible. Which People is... just lean over into someone's front garden. No, yeah. you can take the plants yeah. as well. No, but yeah. what I'm saying is, Go on. Manchester, there's loads of decent hardware shops. Yeah. Here. Um, you know, if you want a panini and a latte or whatever, you can't move for them. But for soil, I had to <laughs> go virtually how many miles away from me to carry that mm. soil home and stuff. Yeah. It's not, it's not good. I mean, London's all right, mm. but if, if cities were sort of it's, it's, it's neglecting the peat. <laughs> yeah, at, at, yeah. at market, yeah. really, is Well, there's it? barely, I mean, there's barely any mulch available well, for uh, well, in I, central I, London. I'm sick and tired of not getting a good decent compost of a Sunday. <laughs> Indeed. So, you know, me. I'm thinking of moving to the north. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where there is loads <laughs> of soil <laughs> and <laughs> gravel. Indeed. And animal shite. <laughs> well, uh, whatever. Yeah, so. Yeah, whatever. Sorry, you were gonna say if you were marking cities out of ten, what would you give, uh, London? Well, if you were marking them on, like, you know, on, on what they have. Right. As opposed to what? <laughs> well, as opposed to <laughs> How the you name. spell it. Say, like, I think the greatest city in the world is Rome. Okay. Like, it's pretty amazing. Mm. Yeah. Have you been? What, yeah, why do you think that, though? Just because, like, you turn a corner and there's something there that's really old. Right? right. Yeah. Like, you're going down <laughs> Normal Street. <laughs> go, go and stay in a Derby and Joan Club. Yeah. No, 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 but, but it's like you're going down the road and then you turn a corner and like, like the Colosseum's in the middle of a, like a busy road. Mm. It's like, what's that doing there? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just when you think there's no more, you turn another corner. It's boiling. almost as if that was there first. Yeah. Well. Yeah. yeah. But do you know what I mean? London. Yeah. What have we got? You, you know, Trafalgar Square's world, sort of world known. And you go there, what's that? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, there's a lot of space there. Get one big B&Q. In Trafalgar Square. To, to, to cater for the whole of people who live sort of central London-ish. Yeah, yeah. And then I'd be happy, but what I'm saying is- What, with is Nelson just popping up through the middle? Cause you can still see it, <laughs> couldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. It's but a great B &Q, idea. Uh, 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 so B and Q could be like the whole sort of flat thing and make it sort of grey so it looked like rock and then Nelson popping up- Make it up classy is what you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stone clad it. <laughs> yeah. So it looks like you've made an effort. <laughs> exactly. And then you can pop in and then you can go out and go, oh look, Nelson's column. Oh look at that! Isn't now? Oh look at that! The victory, oh, defeat. That's fantastic. One of the greatest living. Yeah. I need some nails. Yeah, yeah. perfect. Kevin Two Bridge, one stone. You say. But but why don't? Why isn't there more than than the, more than them shops? Because when I went into yours, every time I've been in there, I've been in there twice now. The first time was to get a shower head, right? <laughs> right. And I went in there, couldn't resist buying something else. I ended up getting some super glue as well. <laughs> 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 Hey, right. big spender. And then, last <laughs> yeah. Sunday we went in there, got two bags of soil, not one, I bought two. Yeah. Yeah. And I bought some scissors to cut plants with. Secretaries. Well, you don't- scissors. You never know when you want, you know, you might need more soil, I suppose. Well, mm. I've got- I've got stopped out now. Where'd you keep it under your bed? Sorry, this isn't going out, is it, this conversation? It's not going out on air. I got a feeling it might be. You're joking. We'd better play a record. Okay. Play a classic. I hate to say I told you so on XFM 104.9. I'm Richard Gervais, obviously, with me, Steve Merchant, and Carl Genius Pilkington. <laughs> Absolutely. I was Carl, watching a bit of TV. Carl the Brain Pilkington. Yeah, the Brain. Brains. Yeah. Uh, I was watching a bit of TV last night, Rick. Um, Go on. 
And I, I had a little Children thought. Need? No, I, was, I didn't watch Children Need. No, um, I was just watching something. I think it was last night. It was a bit earlier. Um, I had a little thought for lads that might be out tonight, you know, on the yeah. r on the Raz. Yeah. Maybe they get a little bit of success with the ladies. Yeah. This was something that struck me as I was watching it. A lot of gentlemen, you know, when they're, uh, when they're engaged in, you know, an act of, you know, relations with a lady, mm. they like to sort of, you know, think of an image or something that will prevent them from, you know, <laughs> and, uh, you get, you catch my drift. We're, we're men in the world. Grandmother's funeral is <laughs> a cliche, isn't it? <laughs> exactly. And I'll tell you what, what I think, uh, it should be. Rick Waller jogging. <laughs> I was watching Fit Club. I, I know. have never seen I'm, I'm, anything I liked like it, it when Rick. Harvey lost it with him. Oh, man alive. I mean, I, I know I slag him off, but I do, I don't really like him either. I just think he comes across appallingly. And I think, you know. When he just walked away when that, in that mid conversation talking to that bloke, they're doing it for his I good, know, really. But he's, 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 how, he's like 31 stone? I think he lost a bit. I think he's 29 now. Don't exaggerate, Steve. You make him <laughs> sound like a fat. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but you know, I mean, oh, yeah. That was close, wasn't it? When having sex, you know, yeah. apparently, uh, thinking of, uh, Rick, w Rick Waller. Oh. Helps. Oh, don't um, look what's happened. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Is that the reverse effect? Yeah. Oh, no, me no, and Carl. No, if you're with a lady, if you're with a lady, apparently yeah. that. That works. I know, um, he's out now, isn't he? He's out. Is he, did he walk out? I, th I think so, I think that's it, from what no, I can- No, no, I think next week they kick him out, cos I read something about, um, he, they get rid of him next week, cos of his attitude, and first time I read it I thought he'd actually ate someone's hat. <laughs> but, but it was- you it, lost me, got rid of him cos of the attitude! <laughs> oh! Everything you think of now is puns. <laughs> You can't get puns out of your head, can you? <laughs> oh, Carl, you're great. Look at his little face. He's so pretty. That How long good. have you been working on that? How you've got to love, that? you've got to uh, give him that. That no, was that a is, real no, joke. Is, Look at his face. He knew it was funny. It was meant to be funny. He said it to be funny. And it was. Well done. I, well done. I'm just interested, I just want to dissect it, cos it was brilliant, and I'm wondering, how long have you been working on it? About two weeks. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's good stuff, it was worth the wait. Can I go uh, on now? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well done. The Hattie Tune. Well, I don't Hattie think, I, I, there's only one band that can top that, another band from Manchester, Oasis. Oh. Vines, Ms. Jackson on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. Right, getting towards that time where Carl really kicks into action. We've got the quiz, we've got Rock Busters, the quiz that's a bit like Blockbusters but mainly around music, yeah, and a pun, a yep. scenario, yep. based in wordplay by Carl, you know how good he is at that. Can yeah. I tell you uh, what the prices are this week, because they're worth playing for? Please do. <laughs> okay, we got on DVD the Manic Street Preacher's Greatest Hits on DVD, the videos I'm assuming. Uh, the film Human Traffic, it's a remix DVD version of that. Uh, I think we were giving this away last week, you've obviously got a bulk <laughs> stock of these, Groove Armada's Love Box, an album from them. Uh, the best air guitar album in the world ever, uh, that's got the likes of Queen, Adams, Palmer, Leopard, Aerosmith. Idol. Um, I don't see it. I Harrison. think the Smith should be on there. Uh, we've got Purple, Wolf, Cooper, Top, <laughs> Quo, and, uh, Back, Nickelback. <laughs> um, now there was another, there was another one around actually. I seem to have lost one of the prizes. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah, this is, uh, you may see this advertised on TV, the Best Bands Ever album. And, uh, just, just imagine who this is aimed at. It's got, uh, Oasis on there, Nickelback, Coldplay, da da da. The Dandy Warhols, Bohemian Like You, in brackets, as featured in the <laughs> Vodafone TV ads. <laughs> then it's got Smash Mouth, Walking on the Sun, as featured in the Ford Fiesta TV ads. It's for people who didn't know they liked indie. Exactly, exactly. They, they go, I don't like indie, but you do. Do you like this advert? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you like it. this advert? <laughs> yeah. Well, you like indie then. <laughs> I do! <laughs> I love indie! I can't believe it! That's great! Yeah. The Mock Turtles, Can You Dig It, as featured in the Vodafone TV ads. I really like indie! Do you love, uh, the T-Mobile TV ad? Yeah? You'll love this, it's got Royce Cup on there, which is featured <laughs> in there. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh. um, so that's, that's, ca that's uh, me, uh, an album for people who don't like music. That's great, that's coming up, Rockbusters. But I also have a movie, cause you know last week I gave away Executive Decision. Yeah. That was on TV last night, in yeah. you didn't receive my copy. But, 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 but well, they probably watched it before it was on TV. Yeah. A few days before. I was before. clearing out, Rick, yeah. last night. I found another one, which might be just to entice people. Go on. What is it? Coming it's, right got it. it's coming out the bag. The Pelican Brief. Oh! Another arbitrary film choice <laughs> on VHS. <laughs> Pelican <laughs> Brief. Robert Washington. You know Get it there? now on VHS it's before there are no more VHSs around. <laughs> it was six ninety nine. I'm giving that away as that's well. That's great, and that's Brief. his personal collection. That's, that's from that's my personal collection. Um, did you see that gun picture, Carl Boyd? I don't think it's even rewound from when I watched it. Really? No, it's not. You can rewind that yourself. Brilliant. That's a little touch of Steve <laughs> yeah, Merchant there. Exactly. Did you see that picture that you brought in? I have, actually. Can I see it again? 
bank on, yeah. It's just a picture of this is- you carry it with you, do you? You know what? Well, no. He found it, right? Last- last week I was sorting it- cause I'm moving. I'm sorting all my, uh, files out and that. <laughs> and, uh, because this is the only school picture. He had got. one school picture taken when he was. T was that ten? Nineteen eighty one. That's about eight and eight. eight and nine. Nine. Okay, tell the story. Why? Why? Why is that the only school picture I taken? Just because. Uh, no, I had them all. I was always had them taken, right? But my dad thought they were overpriced for what you get. Uh huh. Because really, he said that they, they ha the sort of the whole idea of a good picture. Is like not only the person that's in it, but but like the surroundings. Yeah. So like, if you're on holiday, he'll look at me and he'll go, "Oh yeah, you're looking well, huh? What's that hill in the background, mm. or something like that?" Mm. Whereas with <laughs> that's that, Rick Waller, catch it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but all you get on on these school pictures is like a blue background, isn't it? Yeah. So he was like, "I'm not I'm not paying for that." Sure. And it was a big one. You get a bigger one than that, but that's just like a little passport size, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was one pound sixty. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and, and he, he wasn't really happy paying that because he said you could get like some done from True Print for a, uh, a lot cheaper. So he could take himself. Yeah. So um, um <laughs> and so, so did he so tell you at the time that was the last time he was paying for a school he picture? He said I'll get you one because it's good to have a picture of you at school. Yeah. Because they hardly ever went and all that. Mm. Um, so he said. Like, <laughs> <laughs> What's that in the background? That's my school dad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I didn't. I don't recognise it. <laughs> you got any interesting stories about it? Not really. <laughs> so uh, I was a good-looking kid though, wasn't I? You, you, what are you doing with your mouth though, Carl? It looks like you're sort of- it looks like a bit like you're a ventriloquist dummy. What do you mean? Well, it looks like you're- you sort of scrunching your mouth up. Or- or pursing your lips or something. Do you not think? Oh, I mean, now you've got, dare I say it, very kissable lips. <laughs> <laughs> but in here, look how thin they are. Oh, look at those uh, little thin lips. It's like you- I'm smiling. That's a smile? Uh, that's what- I didn't recognise that no, either. I didn't that was oh, a smile. I never, is that what you look like when you smile? No. Yeah. Oh. Oh. What's happening with the head? Had your dad seen you smile before then? Well, I think that's why he wanted to buy one as well. That's like so he can remember what it was like. Right. Yeah, I don't. I don't smile. But when did you stop smiling? When did you? When was the last time you had fun and you just like, like happy go lucky? When? When can you remember when you, you had no weight of the world on your shoulders? I often think that because I don't sleep like I did, like when I was when I was a kid. I mm. had really good sleeps, and now I don't. Right. So I think. Why but you've got a lot of things on your mind. You know, where can I buy soil? Yeah. I How can I confuse a computer by p t tapping in Y in the search yeah, engine? Yeah. Probably when I was fourteen, I was stress free. Uh -huh. Where? Yeah. When was the paper round? Probably when I was fifteen. Right. Is that, that's when it started, was it? I reckon that's when I started getting stressed. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I'm just looking at the haircut you've got in the because uh, obviously I've not seen you before with hair and uh, it's an interesting mop. Um, uh, did you do you have that done at the barbers? No, my mum mum used to do it. Is she cut that? Age, yeah. Right. She did used to, uh, what she used to do, um, y you can't see it in that picture, but there was one where she did, um, bit of a mess of it. I mean, it looks right. quite- I, I, quite I can't silent. tell from this picture. <laughs> no, 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 that, that, that's one of the better ones. Oh, really? Yeah. Right. Um, Were you bullied much? <laughs> <laughs> on, on one of them, she used to, like, use a bit of newspaper in front Brilliant. of the eyes, so she didn't, like, stick these scissors in the eyes. <laughs> So well, newspaper <laughs> stops scissors yeah. every time. Yeah, because I think yeah. they, they use that for bulletproof vests. Yeah, the, t the tough fabric of a, yeah. a, a, a reconstituted newspaper will stop the scissor yeah. any time. No, definitely. I remember, because I know a lot of UN guys <laughs> when they're on patrol, they use some old copies of the Sun. <laughs> they put it in their pockets. Yeah, the Daily Star. Sorry, yeah, okay, yeah. So, uh, she, she used to, uh, used to always be on a Sunday night when, like, Songs of Praise is on or something, nothing right. was on the telly, just sure. before Last of the Summer Wine or something. Yeah. Yeah. She used to get the, What uh, a depressing time that was. It was. Having your hair cut and listening to songs of praise waiting for last summer wine. Yeah. I always used to get depressed on Sunday nights. Well, I'll tell and you it wasn't because school was the next morning, it was because the telly was so shite. Mm. I think it was because school was the next morning because Antiques Roadshow still does that for me. I see the Antiques Roadshow, I love it, but I'm just thinking I've got to go to school or work tomorrow. Yeah. The Roadshow, I wish they put it on the week. But I, I know, I've, no, I've never, I've never really had that. Uh, when I worked, I suppose. <laughs> I work now. <laughs> don't know, I don't know. Oh, what Not a giveaway. Really. What a giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you were telling us well, a story yeah, about so, so anyway, she'd so get the, uh, newspaper, right, and she'd stick it in front of my eyes, and, uh, <laughs> What does that say? Go on. <laughs> so, so she she You inherited a lot from your mum, didn't you? <laughs> So go she'd, she'd cut me fringe, right? Yeah. But then she'd go, oh, it's, it's not straight. It's not very yeah. good. So she'd go again, and she'd keep going. And the problem is that why you're bold now? I was saying, is this that you have got <laughs> hair, <laughs> but she has to get it right. Yeah. And it, it takes her to the back of your neck to so get then, it even. Yeah. She she sort of removed the newspaper, and she was like, oh god. I said, what? And she goes, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and like, what? Is this, does, that, does this happen every Sunday? No. Well, can I ask you, Carl? When she was cutting your hair in this picture, was, do you think she was maybe sidetracked by an interesting article in the paper <laughs> and really yeah, wasn't yeah. paying attention or to what she was doing? Or did her favourite hymn come on? <laughs> yeah, and she's not. Or compo was rolling down <laughs> the hill <laughs> in a bath. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, uh, so yeah, I ended up with like, you know, a fringe sort of on the back of my head because yeah. she just kept going further and further. Sure. But, sure. Uh, when did you start going to that barber that was on the railway station? <sighs> Must have, that's when I started work. So, you know, sort of 16, 17. Mm -hmm. And is he the one that said you have the hair of a Chinaman? He's the one who's, yeah. He sounds like a wise man. Uh, well, uh, can I just stop? I think maybe, maybe we should play a tune, but maybe you could bring in some photos next week, Rick, and we can talk about them on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, I'm just gonna do a card trick. Right, take a card. <laughs> Any card. Yeah. Right, look at it. Uh huh. Is that your card? That's Boy with the Arab Strap, uh, Bell and Sebastian. Cunning next, educating Ricky. Excellent. You too, Electrical Storm. Steve. Am I mental, or have we been playing some great tunes We've today? We've been playing some great tunes. You're not mental. You're on a genius. XFM. <laughs> yeah. On XFM 104 with I'm Ricky Gervais with me, Steve Merchant, and Carl Pilkington. Carl Pilkington in the chair now. The, um, oh, the talked about, the acclaimed, educating Ricky. Right, well, just in case anyone's new, doesn't mm. normally listen, yeah. um, basically, I'm educating Ricky. Yeah. Uh, do a bit of research in the week, find stuff, news, history, Anything that's interesting. Um, three stories, I give them a nice little headline. You take your pick. Yeah. Between now and three, you're gonna learn three things. Yeah? Yeah. So, um, <laughs> the headlines are, um, I'll be no buying one of them. <laughs> <laughs> give us that again. I'll be no buying one of them. Nice, okay. Yeah. Uh, Cream. we've also got, uh, Hippopotter News. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, uh, chicken you believe it. <laughs> <laughs> chicken you believe it. <laughs> well, well, I'm gonna go for Hippopotamus. Hippopotamus? news. Hippopotamus? 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 Yeah. News. Right, well this one, it's, uh, uh, I'm not gonna take the credit here. I heard Christian talking about this on Breakfast, right, cause it's a good, good, uh, good story that happened. Um, basically, I don't know if I told you about it last week when we were having our spaghetti, but, um, <laughs> oh, I think you did. Right, I know what it is. I know what this is. Okay, I've not heard this. <laughs> right, there's a little midget. Right, there's a circus. I'm loving it already. Circus going on somewhere. I think it was in America. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> is that present day or old times? I'm talking like in the last three weeks. Okay. Right. Uh, little midget. Um, uh, circus, really <laughs> packed out show, people are loving it. Um. <laughs> Steve, you asked the same question I did, I know. <laughs> so, um, so there's a little, little midget jumping up and down on a trampoline. <laughs> That's what a circus is, guys! Right. Yeah. Take good money to see it. So, everyone, everyone's clapping and he's getting carried away. Um. <laughs> Cause he can't believe he's like, he can't believe they're loving it. I didn't know they'd like a little person on a trampoline, but they love me. But you know what it's like when, uh, if there's a crowd of people sort of encouraging you to sort of go higher and stuff. Yeah. And I'm sure he knew he was, it was getting out of hand. <laughs> but he was jumping and he was coming down, they're all going higher and he's going really high in the air, right? So he's, he's doing this, crowd are clapping. There's a hippo, right? Just sat next to the trampoline getting ready to come on and do his act. Oh right, I thought he was in the audience. So the the he's a ventriloquist. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean he's sitting by the trampoline waiting to do his act? Because it's why do they sit in the dressing room and they go five minutes, <laughs> Mr. Moss? Five minutes, Mr. Moss. So anyway, right? <laughs> so the hippo's there. Uh, <laughs> he's getting annoyed because this because the midget is going. How can I follow this? How yeah. can yeah. I? He's this is thinking, really yeah. annoying. They're going to be. Yeah. Oh yeah. no. So. <laughs> <laughs> He's already done the trampoline, my pogo stick act is never gonna work. <laughs> yeah, go on, so there's a hippo waiting. Uh, this, this, see, it's a great story and I just know he embellishes it or it gets slightly wrong. Go on. So, so there's a midget jumping up and down, the hippo's yeah. getting annoyed. He the crowd are going the mad, the midget's mental. loving it, can't believe his luck. Although we think, you think, he probably knows he's uh, dicing with danger. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, next thing you know, they're all saying hi hi He gives it one big, like, heavy sort of landing on the trampoline, goes really high, but goes off at a funny angle. Oh. Hypotenuse. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, and sort of flies out- Hypotenuse! Hypotenuse! Sure. Flies off at a funny angle, Ooh, dear. hippos there, swallows him whole. <laughs> Crowd are clapping, thinking that's why the hippo was waiting there. <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> It's not rubbish, though. But no, maybe the, uh, there was an accident in a, 
uh, a circus with a midget and a hippo, eh? But at no point was this hippo waiting to go on going, come on. The midget flew off at hypotenuse and landed in the hippo's mouth and was swallowed whole. <laughs> <laughs> this well, is this is what you embellish it. That is great. And what's I that? have to say though, Rick, when I heard midget trampoline hippoto hippopotamus, I was thinking actually what to happen. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, maybe. I mean, it is it that 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 you should never put those three together. <laughs> never. It's it's a recipe for disaster. It's Everyone knows that midget trampoline hippopotamus. <laughs> are you mental? You're asking well, for trouble. Well, you know when he told me it. He said, and the midget. He didn't. He didn't mention the hippopotamus. <laughs> and he said the midget went on and soon he fell off. And the hippo at him. <laughs> and I said, sorry, what was the hippo doing there? He went, it's a circus. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of a circus having a hippo. <laughs> What can they do? You can't train them, can you? <laughs> what do you want to Aren't they like very deadly? They're yeah. huge, aren't you they? You can't have a hippo in a circus. Are you sure? You're not thinking of Zippo. <laughs> He's neither clown. Yeah. <laughs> it, no, 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 and it, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't some sort of, where Zippo was eating a midget and it's, it's some sort of horrible sexual act. No, it was definitely, I heard it on breakfast, right? Um, oh, okay, it sorry. It's, no, it's definitely fact. Yeah, no, okay, right, proof. okay, good. Uh, well, let's play a record then. So, um, uh, I'd like to play a, a classic Springsteen, we're all fans of Springsteen there. This might be his debut album, I'm not sure, Greetings from Ashbury Park. I think it is, yeah. Um, New Joyzy. Um, and this is Growing Up, it's great, it's classic. Springsteen and Growing Up off of, uh, Asbury Park album. Mm -hmm. uh, great. They make you feel good, Springsteen, oh, don't they? Oh, he's a joy. He's an absolute joy. Uh, Rockbusters. Well, this, is what, this, what all, this is what this they're all they're reading and writing about. Absolutely. Um, before you get the clues, let me just remind you of the prizes you're playing for. We've got the Manic Street Preacher's Greatest Hits on DVD. We've got the film Human Traffic on DVD. Uh, we've got the Best Air Guitar Album 2, uh, on CD. Uh, Groove Armada's- is this their current album? Yeah. I guess it's not selling very well, they're still trying to promote that. You can have that as well. If you are a fan of the Ford Fiesta TV ad, of the Vodafone TV adverts, you will love the- You will uh, love- you <laughs> didn't think you liked indie. <laughs> well, you do. <laughs> exactly, and that's got, uh, Feeder and Travis and Badly Drawn Boy and all sorts on there. Plus, my own copy, six ninety nine. it cost me, uh, The Pelican Brief, starring Julia Roberts and Denzel Washington, <laughs> if you've not seen that, panned and scanned on VHS. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so what right. are the clues? Do you know what what a pelican? Uh, I read the other day that has mm, to turn its head upside down to eat. Give us the clues. So, Rockbusters- Well, let me just explain. A, a bird, a bird has a, has a gullet, an esophagus and a gullet, it's all in one thing. It hasn't got peristalsis, which is the movement that we have that can make food. Uh, so a bird has to- can only rely on gravity. Yeah. So it- it has to have its head up and has to shake, it can't eat- You were gonna it. say that, weren't you, Carl? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, Rockbusters, um, you mentioned it earlier, one of last week's was, it's a cryptic clue and then some initials. I was in Texas, I fell in a puddle on my knees, knees got wet, uh, WH. Wet knee Houston. Yeah. That's the sort of thing, thing we- The use of the with. word knee twice there in the cryptic <laughs> clue <laughs> and in the final answer. And the word answer. wet. I think you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Which is wit. Right. So fine. Good. So, um, there's three of them. It's email only, ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Sure. Load of stuff to win. Here they go. Right, the first one. I'm cryptic writing these clue. down. Go on. Making it of them. Um, the fella has only got one badge left. <laughs> <laughs> the fella has only got one badge left. Yeah. What are the initials? That's just E. Just E? Oh, just E. Just E. The okay. fella has only got one badge left. This is e. either a solo artist or a band. Yeah. Um, second one. The unmarried lady is a friend I eat out with. Say that again? The unmarried lady is a friend I eat out with. The unmarried lady is a friend I eat out with. Yeah. What's M the initial? M D. M D. M D. And finally. I really, really, uh, I really, really love that woman. I love everything she does. That's M. Now, give, I think us that, give us that one again. I really, really love that woman. I love everything she does. And that's right. M. I right, know I've got that one. Right. Okay. So, that's it's great. That's lovely. So uh, yeah, that's great. I think I think the the second and third one's quite easy. First one is a killer. Is it tricky? Yeah, it's a tricky one. So uh, Ricky dot Gervais at xfm dot co dot uk, and what we pick a winner out at about quarter to two or something. Quarter like two, that. yeah, absolutely. No, quarter to three. What am I talking about? Quarter to three. Yeah. So uh, so there you go. That's dynamite stuff. Well done, Carl. Excellent. More uh, educating Ricky next. Yeah. Beck, lost cause on XFM one hundred four point nine. Wow, Carl. We haven't had a lot of emails, they're tough. I'm struggling. Yeah. I've, got, I've got, got one, one and I, 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 
I'm struggling with two, but I know one of the words, but I can't think of the band that fits it unless the clue's wrong, and I've got no idea with the first one, E. Give us oh, again. Just, just quickly again. recap. Number one, the fella has only got one badge left, that's E. Uh, second one, the unmarried, uh, lady is a friend he out with, that's MD. And, uh, the last one, I really, really love that woman. I love everything she does. That's M. Well, so, uh, Ricky, what is it, Ricky? Ricky dot Gervais at xfm dot co dot uk. So keep those coming in. If there's no winner, we don't know whether to give it to the person who gets the most right first, or have a massive rollover. And uh, what a Christmas booty that would be, as Carl said. Hmm. All those. Imagine what you could have. Uh, oh, uh, indecent proposal, maybe. <laughs> who knows? It, you who know knows? what I mean. I've got some real junk, so I can bring that in. Yeah. It, the mean machine. Imagine with someone Vinnie this Jones. Christmas. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This Christmas, I can't believe. It. Oh, I, thank you so much for the Pelican brief. I noticed yeah. you left the price on, and I, uh, it's on VHS as well. <laughs> oh, great! Brilliant. <laughs> so, yeah, um, it's, it's so a perfect Christmas gift, isn't it? Yeah, really? it's great. Okay, it. now um, Some so that's going. That's going. That's Christmas going gift. on. That's a big, big, <laughs> big prize. It's a big weekend prize on XFM. Yeah. Educating Ricky, part two. Right, what's the, what's the clues right, left? Well, we've, uh, we've, we've got left, uh, the headlines, I'll be no buying one of them. <laughs> yeah. And we've also got, uh, chicken, you believe it. Chicken, you believe it. <laughs> so, <laughs> they're the two that are left. Which one's right. you going for? Chicken, you believe it is not that picture, is it, in it, that we saw? Which picture? The bloke with the- No, 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 right, no, Right, no. okay. God, um, that was bad. Right, okay, um, right, um, so- I just better explain we that. We can't really discuss this on air, can we? Well, we can, um, uh, Steve brought in, Carl, the best book ever, which is, what is it? Uh, I found it when I was moving house, it's an FHM publication, and it's kind of like lots of grotesque pictures and stories, and like the book of the- uh, a book of freaks and weirdos and- And grotesque. Carl opened it, and the first one was like- At the back, at the back. The back. The well, back. you couldn't but believe your luck, could what you? Was it, what was it, what was number 50? A bloke with two heads. And he said, what's number one? Yeah. And then number six, there's a bloke who's a squid or something. Uh, octopus. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. He's uh, loving it. Uh, and number one, he said, well, it's just a fella under a rock. And I went, oh no, read on, I think I know about this. And it's the fella that was found, w he caused a landslide while having sex with a chicken. And they pulled him <laughs> off and there he is, the chicken owner. Right, so Carl so could not believe his luck. So it's not that. Chicken, you believe it? I love that one. You're then. going for that one. Yeah. Right. Well, we've talked a lot on the show about. Um, we talked a lot on the show. Yeah. 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 Um, about <coughs> animals without heads. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't. Uh, <laughs> we haven't. We meant, no, we talked about cockroaches could live without a head for well, seven days. Yeah. We talked about that, and then of course there was the. Um, <laughs> The well-known one about the, uh, the fella who had his head cut off, and he- He, he blinked in the- He said to his, his mate, count how many times I blink when my head comes off. Yeah. We, as you, when, when you told it to me, you said, his head came off, and he said, <laughs> as he said, <laughs> the basket, said, quick, count how many times I blink. <laughs> and it was Nick Frost that had to go, no, Carl, no, he, he said it before. I went, and, uh, that was, that was lovely. So, uh, yeah, we've talked quite a lot about things, heads coming off. Yeah. Go on, then. Well, this one. Yeah. Right? Um, <laughs> back in 1945. Oh, he looked it up the date. He's got a specific date, uh, wow. Mate Jonathan sent this one, you know him as well, it's lad at the BBC, right? He emailed this one in. Mm. So thanks for that. Um, chicken, it's called Mike. There's, There's a chicken uh, called, sorry, I, I missed a bit there. There's yeah, a chicken, chicken called Mike. A chicken called Mike, okay. right? Yeah. Um, what happened was, it was living on a farm, mm -hmm. right? Loads of chickens knocking about, <laughs> and uh, the owner of the farm is like, you know, getting ready for tea, and his wife says, uh, go out and get a fresh chicken, mm. cos me, uh, my mum's coming round. Mm. So he thinks, well, <laughs> I, I want to get a good one in, cos uh, I want to impress her, cos yeah. back then, even then, they wanted to impress the mother-in-law on that. Uh -huh. So they said, all right, I'll just nip out and get one. So he sees, uh, he sees Mike, chicken, running around. Is this during the war or after the war? 1945, I'd, I'd say that was after. No, it ended, well, it ended no. in 1945. Yeah, okay. September, go on. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, um, chicken's running about, he thinks that one look, uh, you know, that looks alright, I yeah. love that one. Mighty. So he picks it up, um, and he cuts his head off. Oh. Puts it on the block, cuts his head off, runs about a bit, like they do. Um, he thinks it'll stop in a minute. Keeps running about. Hmm. And what's going on here? Right? He's, tra he's, he's now, like, chasing the chicken without an head. Yeah. He's saying he should die in a minute. Anyway, doesn't die. Chicken's walking around with no head. Um, lives for 18 months. Yeah. Chicken with no head. Yeah. What do you no. think of that? 
Well, I'll tell you, I've heard this story before, Rick, and, uh, my, the explanation as I understand it was that, um, certain vital cords, spinal cords, weren't severed when the head came off. So yeah. that was why it continued to, to yeah. live. Yep. I don't know if that sounds plausible. It's mm. fine. Absolutely fine. Um, how did it take on, uh, protein and energy? The fella who yeah. owned it, he said, well, hang on a minute, he said, I could, I could kill it now. But I've got a wonder chicken here. But he's thinking, it must really want to live. Sure. All right. <laughs> If it survives that, they sort of got something here. Yeah. So we, uh, what he does, he gets a little, um, eye droplet thing that he used to use on it. Obviously not, not anymore, right? And he filled it with grain and water, and it had a big hole in its neck where its head used to be. And he, uh... <laughs> Incredibly. And he dropped... You know what, there's, there's, I mean, that, that is possible then, if it, you know, without, without infection. Without, 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 without infection, if he was taking on things, it is, it is possible, right? Why? <laughs> Why what? Why did he do it? How cruel is that? I mean, that was not cruel because the chicken obviously, you know. He said he said if he thought it was a bit fed up, he would have killed it. He said, but right. he was running around quite happy. Well, it wasn't <laughs> fed up at all because it had no brain. <laughs> well, what do you mean? Well, I'm just saying what. It what was I nothing. Mean? It was just it was just sinew and nerves and electrical impulses breaking down energies. Right, that's all it was. It, it didn't have a brain, so it was. But I, I'm worried about the psychology of keeping a pet without a head. <laughs> I'm worried more about what the farmer was thinking than the I chicken. I tell you this. What I'm uh, the question I'm asking is: Was the mother-in-law impressed? <laughs> I mean, that's oh, why he's out. That's why he's out to shot this Mike's is, head This off. is lovely, but it's just the head where you don't kill a chicken like that all at once. <laughs> I thought we were having chicken for dinner. Come and look at this. <laughs> running around the yard. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, dear. So, there you go. You've learned something there. Yeah, I have learned something. Yeah? Yeah. So, the, one more. That farmer, I have learned that farmer was very strange indeed. <laughs> yeah. There you go. I have to say, to be fair to Carl, I have a feeling like when I read it, the reason he kept it alive was as a novelty. He sold, he, you know, he, he got charged people to come and see the incredible headless chicken right. called Mike. Right. So, <laughs> there we are. There That's go. great. So, uh, a <laughs> tune, Steve? A but tune, yeah. Um, I just thought uh, I'd like to hear a little bit more from, uh, that N.E.R.D. album. We played some of this from, uh, from there when it first came out many, many moons ago. Since then it's gone on, it's won awards, all sorts. And obviously N.E.R.D. now, nerd, as they're sometimes known, kind of big producers. They're producing Justin Timberlake, Britney Spears, all kinds of people. But this is a track from their, uh, album. I've heard they're wicked. They are indeed. <laughs> and this is called Things Are Getting Better. Thanks. Oh. N.E.R.D. Uh, from their album In Search Of, and that's Things Are Getting Better. After the break, we got, uh, more Educating Ricky and the results to this week's Rockbusters. And Richard Ashcroft. Oh, dynamite. Richard Ashcroft, check the meaning on XFM 104.9 on Wicked Device with me, Steve Merchant. Carl just remembered a little story he was excited to tell you. Okay. Go on. Oh, are you gonna tell him? Oh, okay. Um, w when we went into this cafe last week after um, Carl had got his soil. We got two big bags of soil. I was going, get a bag. I mean, and he, uh, he was, and I can walk home. After about ten yards, he was going, oh, my arms hurt. So he had to get a cab. So we stopped in this cafe. He had spaghetti bolognese. You were loving it, weren't you? It was good. It was a good little day out. And there was a woman that worked there, and she sort of, I could see her sort of looking at me, and she said, uh, and then she came and said, are you off the telly? And I went, um, uh, yeah, yeah. She went, yeah, Chris Moyles. <laughs> Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. And I just laughed, and we both started laughing. She went, no, sorry, I don't, uh, I don't know, I'm not, because what's your name? And I went, and I had to say it, I went, R Ricky Gervais. <laughs> she went, oh, no. She went, oh, the thing in the office. I went, yeah, yeah. No, the yeah, funny so thing went, was, no, she said, she went and said, Oh, no, I saw you on, on Jonathan Ross. Jonathan Ross, that's it, yeah. So she'd obviously watched the Jonathan Ross show thinking, Chris Miles has, you know, lost his looks a bit, or whatever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's what I found funny, the fact that <laughs> she must have watched it, yeah. it thinking yeah. that- Yeah. Yeah, she went, no, I saw you like, I saw you the other day, and I was like, yeah, yeah, she went, oh. And then we were still sort of laughing, I was thinking, she went, oh, sorry, but I was going, no, it's fine, it's fine. I was thinking, yeah, imagine that, just like, oh, God. great. There's not a better one to pick. That's just <laughs> appalling. Oh, that was lovely. It's the second time as well. That you've been mistaken for Chris Moore? Yeah. 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 Oh man, you've yeah, got to feel I've, bad I've about had, that. I've had Moyles, I've had, um, uh, Vegas a few Johnny times. Johnny Vegas, yeah, I can imagine. Um, that. so, yeah. Do you think, like, people are going up to Moyles going, you, uh, you do that thing about working in an office? Yeah, I hope, well, don't know. I don't know whether I hope that or not. I don't um, know, it depends what he answers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. 
I, I like- I thought you were gonna say that, uh, are you Chris Moores? No, no, what's your name, uh, Ricky Gervais? Uh, I never heard of you. <laughs> <laughs> That'd yeah. be brilliant. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, okay, right. Educating Ricky, Educating number three. Ricky, yes. Well, we've got the emails in. We've got the emails in. Yeah, yeah people are, are starting... finally- they're finally trickling in. I think people okay. are getting People have but... got the full three right, but I mean, it's still worth emailing in because we never know who we're gonna pick as a winner. I'll tell you what, we've still got fifty minutes before we uh, give the prize out, so let's give this- give them again. Just give us a quick, uh, right. run there, because I think these are- these are- these are tantalising. They yeah, really yeah, are. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the first <laughs> one, the fella has only got one badge left. Yeah. That's E. The second one, the unmarried lady is a friend to eat out with. MD. Yeah. And the third one, I really, really love that woman. I love everything she does. That's M. Excellent. All right. Ricky. So at xfm.co.uk. You can win all kinds of prizes. Oh, Educating so Ricky, right, number three. Final one. You've had, uh, Hippopotanews. Love you've had, you had chicken, you believe it. <laughs> and the, <laughs> the last one is, um, I'll be no buying one of them. I love that one. All right. Um, interesting one, this. I, th this, I mean, I spent probably three days looking for this stuff, <laughs> right? <laughs> and another one that I came across, right, and, um, I was gonna use, I was a what bit a like, great life you've got! I was just, you know, going on the internet and that, and I also, look in magazines, found a story <laughs> about a bloke <laughs> who, um, I don't know, he was messing about with a chainsaw and he's, he's <laughs> Oh. I don't know, he's been really messing <laughs> up with the chainsaw. Um, he was juggling the midget, and, uh, while well, I was taking and his alligator for a walk, and, um, go on. And his arm, uh, come off, right? Come off! What do you mean his arm come off? The chainsaw took it off. Oh, yeah, so okay. Like, oh. Again, anyway, it's the way he's going, oh no! Oh. So, uh, there's a picture of him on a exercise bike, sort of just with a, a little stump sort of balancing, but he's getting on with his life, he's happy and everything, everything's fine, he's not complaining, it's his own fault, he's got no one to blame, right? So anyway, he goes to the doctors, and the doctor says, I can do something there. So he goes, well, it's alright, you know, I'm, I'm getting by alright, don't worry about it. And he goes, no, no, we've got an arm in, right? We can, um, we can attach that a real arm from someone who's, I think they passed away or lost an arm or something and uh, <laughs> They lost an arm and didn't want it back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ben, I'll have it. Are you using that? <laughs> yeah. No, because I know someone. Because <laughs> I know a bloke actually. Yeah. Well, can't you just put this one back on? <laughs> well, it's first come, first serve, really. I was just, I, listen, I was just building a bionic man. <laughs> We've replaced one arm with a robot's arm, so we've got a spare one. <laughs> so, the doctor's going, let, let me put it on, he's like, well, oh, alright then. <laughs> so, so I'm grateful, bastard. So he does the operation. Right? <laughs> Everything's fine. He's loving it. He's, he's happy again because he said he can brush his teeth. Right. Okay. If this is if this is going to be <laughs> he's loving like, it again because now he can brush his teeth. Right. If this is going to be, and it was a leg, or no, no, no. it was a chimp's arm, <laughs> or, or it was the arm it of was, a killer. It was yeah. It was two left arms. Right. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to s kill you. Oh, let's let's leave it then. <laughs> what is it? So, What's the answer? No, it's not that. I'm just. What missing. is okay? Right. Right. So um, so he says, uh, go on and do it. So he <laughs> he, he sews it on, and uh, like I said, he's happy. He's brushing his teeth. He can have a pint in the pub. He's lifting a pint with it. All his mates are happy for him. Uh, it goes on for about two years. Everything's fine. Then it all starts going flaky. Oh, I knew it would. Right. Was it made of chocolate? <laughs> all right. So it all goes all like gammy, and then for some the reason, the arm going gammy. It goes gammy, and it gets longer. <laughs> Of course it does. So there's a picture of him, right, stood in the magazine. <laughs> He's stood there with his arms by his side. Um, one arm's normal. The other one is like past his knees. <laughs> it's he can pull his socks up without bending over. So it's is really this going to be? They gave him, they gave him the arm of an eight-year-old child who would have been the tallest man in the world. No, he just said, "Oh, what am I going to do?" And the doctor said, "Oh, there's not much we can do," and left it. <laughs> What what, 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 wait a minute, you can't that's leave it there. That's not a story. So, Carl, that's what, not you've a got story. to tell us the explanation. What, what, was what? it an incredible plastic arm? An incredible expanding arm? Did he fight crime later? No. Well, that's the end of the story. You've got no yeah, scientific that's explanation why, that's as to why, why I, that's why I didn't pick it. But you just told it to us anyway! Yeah, but I'm just saying the sort of knowledge I come over when I'm looking for the good knowledge. <laughs> yeah? So <laughs> why has his arm grow? Why did this arm grow? He must have had an adult arm. They couldn't have given him an arm. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's just what I'm. <laughs> it's rubbish again, it's isn't not, it? Well, well, I don't. It's an interesting story, but you should have. It's not. Read, it's rubbish. It didn't happen. To the end. There was photos. It's <laughs> <right. Poof. laughs> yeah, but you should have read to the end of the article, Carl. No, I did. And he said, that, you know, he's not happy, and he wishes he he wouldn't have had it done, and all that, and 
you know. Did you sure this wasn't entirely unexpected? No, seriously, he was saying, you know, his teeth are nice and clean again because he could brush them and that, <laughs> but his arm's getting in the way. <laughs> ruin, <laughs> ruining his shirts and everything. <laughs> So I'll leave that. Let's play, let's play a tune, let's come back with the next one, because I love the fact that that- This is like Ronnie Corbett telling one of his jokes, Fancy <laughs> Ronnie's. That wasn't even the story, he was gonna tell I'll play it, my God. Oh, God. <laughs> That's alright, innit? Travis, love will come through. Mm -hmm. Quite like that, That's on right. XFM 104.9. Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, and Carl Pilkington. In the chair. We've had the, uh, we've had the answers in. It's Rockbusters. Mm -hmm. It's the results. Yeah. Carl, yeah, yeah. give us the winning answers. Right, Steve, you search for a winner. I so will. At random. We can yep. slip into that. So, the first one was, the fella's only got one badge left. I don't have no idea. The initial was E. Go on. Will I get out the answer now, Yeah, Steve? give the answer, yeah, I think on. you should. That was his last sticker. <coughs> yeah? E Elastica. The band Elastica. I'm right, not doesn't sure. Work, no. Doesn't work. The word, the word sticker and the and the ba yeah. and a badge are not interchangeable. And it's not his last sticker. It's elastica. Yeah, but like his last sticker. So <laughs> someone's got it. Oh, um, so, so so say a different word and it works. <laughs> oh, so if the band is is Lastica, then it works. <laughs> God, if only Justin would have named it different. If she'd have just gone, let's call it is Lastica, <laughs> then we'd have yeah. Second one. Um, what was the clue? The unmarried lady is a friend he out with. Go on. That's Miss Dynamite. Miss Dynamite? Doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, but it's been running for four weeks. We've done- we've done the obvious Doesn't ones. Doesn't work. Doesn't, Doesn't work. work. Miss Dynamite. Again, if she'd have called herself <laughs> Miss Dynamite, it would work. She didn't. <laughs> See, what, what, what's happening is pop stars are letting you down by naming <laughs> themselves incorrectly for your clues. Those don't work. <laughs> They don't count. <laughs> and the last one, <laughs> I really, really love that woman. I love everything she does. That yeah. was M. Yeah. That was Madonna. Yeah, Madonna. I'm, I'm gonna give you that. That work. yeah. <laughs> right, um, that's the end of that feature. Until you can get ones that work. Okay? So you won't hear any more of that. <laughs> Cause it's rubbish. You're running out already. <laughs> I did. So do you just think of the first three things that come in your mind and make them fit? Just no, think of three bands and make a clue, and if it fits, it fits, if it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I just- I just went through again. Rubbish. Uh, it was rubbish. Whatever. Right, play a record. Hang on, we've got a winner. We have. Uh, actually, you say all this, Rick, but lots of people got them right. Which yeah, so. I don't know what that proves, really. I don't know if that says, you know, you're the tosser or- Oh, they they're as stupid as Carl? One or the other. Okay. But, uh, I'm gonna give it to Simon and Daisy and Hitchin. They, uh, got the right answers, and, uh, well done to them. They get the Pelican Brief and some <laughs> other treats. <laughs> Serves you right. <laughs> I look forward Serves to Serves you right for understanding Carl. <laughs> Swade's new one. Obsessions. On XFM 104.9. Well, uh, I'm Ricky Jamais, obviously, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilgerson. Well, Carl, that's- that's about it, and, uh, we got sidetracked on the last Educating Ricky. You telling me about a man whose arm grew. Well, something well, something went wrong. I'm not saying it's, it grew. Just saying. <laughs> what 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 what? The rest went, of him shrunk. It, it went long. <laughs> it uh, went long. What is that growing? Now? What do you mean it went long? Uh, did it grow or what? Did it come loose? That's that's what I was thinking. Oh, so it's hanging by a thread that's made it look long. Yeah. Within the skin. It's like how you can stretch a pair of tights if something is too heavy. Or Arms are very much <laughs> like tights. They so, are very so much the like one, tights. So the one that we didn't get round to on Educating yeah. Ricky was, uh, I'll be no buying one of them. Go on. Um, are you familiar no. <laughs> <laughs> with okay. the- with the same white elephant? Something is a white elephant? Yeah. Yeah, I oh, think so. Hold on. You phoned me last night and said, what does white elephant mean? <laughs> <laughs> and I told you. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I know where it came from, but I just was wondering what it was about. So how- in what way is educating Ricky, you <laughs> calling me up and asking me something? <laughs> well, do, do you know how it came about? You've given away some of the secrets of the show there, it would appear. I didn't realise he was phoning you for information. Well, he just asked me what, what the term white elephant meant in sort of like colloquial- <laughs> did, he sa did he say, there's why, why- why are you interested, Carl? No reason. <laughs> <laughs> no, go on, go on. Well, what it is, ages ago when- So what do we understand white elephant to mean? It's- Well, some of that's useless that's like a bit of a, you know, a, 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 a you know, something that you wouldn't want around that's just, that's just stood there doing nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at you, Carl. 
So, uh, <laughs> so years ago, when <laughs> when people used to use elephants, years more, ago, go on. More, <laughs> when people used to use elephants, yeah, go more, on. more than they do now. Right. Um, <laughs> They do now. This doesn't involve a midget, does it? No, no, no. <laughs> so, um, so you know, they use them in the workplace and stuff. Sure. Yeah, yeah, as factories. Sort of, you know, yeah, yeah. To move stuff Tea around. Teenagers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> security guards. Yeah. Can't trust them with the buns though. <laughs> 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 That's why they stopped using them. Oh right. God, go on. So there was loads of you, loads of elephants knocking about, about and the thing is, right, you couldn't if, move from. If you have a lot of something, uh -huh. you also have a lot of demic ones, don't you? you a lot, lot of what? Of, you know, sort of demicky ones, ones that aren't right, really. Demicky. Demicky. Well, you know, like it, they weren't, they weren't properly. They weren't. <laughs> they weren't properly. <laughs> they weren't Sorry, demicky but or Carl, properly. what are you what, doing? What, right, I'm getting to the story. So what I'm telling they you were, is they were a bit demicky, so they weren't properly. Have you started making words up? Right. Yeah, and <laughs> you Stanley Unwin, <laughs> Listen, reincarnated. What, demicky. What, yeah. There was a lot of albino elephants knocking about. Okay. Where? Where is this? Um, old Africa. Times. Africa. <laughs> Uh, should we say Africa? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If an answer's got a question mark at the end, I'm well, not sure. It's an either Africa or India, but I'll give you a clue. Were these elephants, do they have big ears or little ears? Um, I didn't sort of notice the size of the elephants. I noticed, what I noticed is they were white because they were albino elephants. Okay. Right? So. Uh, that's why they're heading, I'll be no buying one of them. Okay. I'll be no buying one of them. So, <laughs> what would happen is, people who didn't know what they were doing, like, you know you get people making a mistake buying cars that are full of problems and that, back yeah. then when people were buying elephants, they'd go up to someone, say I'm after an elephant, and the fellow would say, yeah, I've got one here for you, sure. this is a nice one. Mm -hmm. And it was all white and stuff, and it had like, Blue eyes. You should never trust a used elephant salesman. <laughs> <laughs> it was just this elephant that's white with blue eyes. Right. So, <laughs> this is um, great. So, yeah. uh, so a uh, fellow who didn't know what he was doing would buy the elephant and he'd get it back and it'd be all sort of lazy and stuff oh, and we're doing the stuff. Yeah. Mm. And he'd say, what's, what's up with this? And his mate who's a bit of an expert with elephants and go, oh, where have you bought that from? And he say, oh, I got it off that fella, and he goes, oh. All this said, embellishing <laughs> nonsense he does with the story. You shouldn't have bought that. So he goes, why? And he says, it's only albino, isn't it? And he's like, what does that mean? And he said, oh, it's, it gets tired. Yeah. Um, it's not that good at doing work and that. You shouldn't it have bought it. It steals from you. But elephants back then were like a god. You know what I mean? Right. You couldn't, you couldn't say, oh, I'm sick of this and I'm gonna abandon it or anything okay. because ele elephants were seen as like pretty high up on the chain of things. So <laughs> they'd end up being stuck with an elephant, that's an albino, Yeah. couldn't do much, gets tired, basically gets in the way, so they said, that's where they're saying like, you know, oh, but a bit of a white elephant there. <laughs> <laughs> what so, do you reckon, Rick? <laughs> I, I feel, I don't, I feel like I, I haven't been educated. I feel like I've lost something. <laughs> so at that time in my life I could never get back. I feel like I've sort of been soiled and I, I don't know where to start. <laughs> I'm angry. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'm angry. Sure, yeah, I can see that. And all that rubbish around, look at his little face. Well, what was that, all that <laughs> shit about a second hand elephant salesman and his mate knew about elephants? <laughs> what is it, what are they, they had blue eyes. What are you? Well, there you albinos go. have red eyes for a start. Yeah. Oh, that's it. We've run out of time. Oh, again. what? What? The, I mean, Sorry. what are you going to do about this next week? Are you going to actually do some w educating next week? And what about Rockbusters? Are you going to make the clues proper cryptic clues? Well, that's the teaser, isn't it? That's what we'll leave them with. We'll <laughs> <laughs> Will it be any good next week? <laughs> Tune in and find out on XFM 104.9. Merchant. Hello there. Carl Pilkington. Alright. Don't be nervous. Uh, we, we might see a difference in Carl. He's a little bit shy. Um, there's someone here from the BBC filming this, part of that celebrity boxing thing. The fight, I think it's called, and they they want to get a little clip of this, so we're gonna let them film for a minute and then they're gonna go away. Is that alright, Carl? Yeah. He doesn't want to- he doesn't want to be on camera, do you? Do you? I think it ruins radio, doesn't it? <laughs> do well, not you? for the people listening, it doesn't. Yeah, but it does because people are like, oh, that, he sounds like a bit of a looker. What, you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then they'll see it on the telly and they'll go, God, yeah, he, he, you know, his head is round. <laughs> <laughs> it is round though, isn't it? So. <laughs> Guess what? I got a call yesterday, um, you'll love this, Steve. Mm. From MTV. And, uh, I'm wondering if, um, they could screen test Carl. That's outrageous. I'm loving it. And I was going, yeah, and I come, I said, yeah, yeah, he's it, trying, I'll come down with him and I was, I was saying, what about this and that, and they were, they were loving it. I called him and I went, oh no. I went, why not? He went, well, I'm looking at my reflection now in the mirror. 
He said, I, I shouldn't be on the telly. What would you wear for your screen test, Carl? What kind of look would you try and cultivate? Because you've got to bear in mind that the audience out there, they don't know what you look like. So, would you be a snappy dresser like, say, Jonathan Ross, or would you go for your kind of street can't, can't, cash look? Can't wear a suit. Don't, you can't wear a suit? Don't hold it well. Uh huh. So, I'm thinking, uh, I don't know, I'll prob probably wear my woolly hat, cause that takes some years off me. <laughs> <laughs> it does, he looks about ten with a woolly hat on. Yeah. Okay. And, um, Is it quite a cool woolly hat, or has it got a bobble? It's charcoal, I'd say it's the in, in colour. Yeah, okay. Um, and I'll probably wear me, uh, me anorak. Right. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's going for the. He's, go, he's, he's going, going for glam. Anorak, he's look. going for quite a glam <laughs> look. Oh, yeah. oh no dressed for it. a jumble sale. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah. I'm, not, I'm not that happy about it all, to be honest. You, are you going to do it? You're not going to do it. Well, I'm sort of stuck in the middle because throughout my life so far, <laughs> I've always just I've never planned for anything. Right. Mm. Like, it's just always happened. Yeah. Yeah. The time, you know what I mean, being in plays at school, never planned it, but when I did it, I went down a store. It was a trial, yeah, we all remember that. So, yeah. we, I, as I remember, you did Little Donkey. Did Little Donkey, yeah. And um, then later, someone was filming at the back. Was it your dad's mate? My dad's mate. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and on the camcorder, he listened to it back, watched him playing it. His dad says, just off camera, what does he say? I don't want to say it because I'm in charge of the show and I'd be irresponsible. He looks like a right twat. <laughs> so, and so I, he gets I, I, home, I, I, watching that, and then here's his dad just off camera go, he looks like a right twat. <laughs> yeah, alright, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you worried about? Your no, dad saying sorry, that on the Can I just interject? Because I'm really worried about this idea of Carl being on MTV. Because the problem is that, you know, let's be honest, Rick, I mean, we're we're getting by the skin of our teeth, aren't we, really? It's yeah. only Carl that's keeping this afloat. Yeah. And if he gets on MTV and the world sort of gets a sense of him and they understand him, and, and he he won't be ours anymore. We won't be able to control him. It'll be out there. It'll be in the Well, that's, that's no, no, the no, thing. No, no. no, that's the thing. It, it, that's the terrible thing, though, isn't it? It's like, Carl is my pet. But mm. I realise I've got to release him into, into the wild, the wild. and you know because I love him, I know he's got to go free. <laughs> sure, but I yeah. wanna. I it's wanna like Kez. Maybe someone will beat him to death, <laughs> and we won't have to worry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'll, I'll uh, have you on though. I'll have you on as a guest, <laughs> yeah. which, oh, gets, which gets me on to something we've got coming up today. Oh right. yeah, he's got a new idea. Yeah, right. Um, do you know, like I've talked about ghosts, and we had that good discussion the other week walking to. Yeah. Piccadilly Circus Station. Yeah? yeah, and I was telling you about ghosts, and you were saying, Carl, don't be an idiot, and all that. Uh, spoke to a woman in the week, done mm -hmm. a little interview with <laughs> You've her. done a little interview? Done Brilliant. a little interview, two minutes or so, with, okay. uh, with a woman who's, who's got ghosts in her house. <coughs> so, uh... I look forward to, uh, hearing that later. That sounds got brilliant. coming up later. Well, I'm gonna play a classic tune now. I've, I've just gone straight for it. I've gone for the jugular. This is Ziggy Stardust by David Bowie. Ziggy Stardust by David Bowie on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais with me Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkerton. Carl was also nervous because had a bit of shock last week, didn't you? Just a little bit. His, uh, his dad tuned in. To the show? Yeah. Um, and Carl's never told him that he actually speaks on the show. He just said, I just pressed the buttons, right? He's kept him from it. He used to do radio before and you never told him, did you? Mm. It's because of the little donkey incident. Yeah. When he went along, so. Well, was that the, the twat incident? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so he's never told him since, but, but they've promised not to listen, haven't they? Well, me dad said, uh, uh, me mum said to me, don't worry, don't be put off this week, because, um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've, no. I've, I've told him he can't listen, but I hear my dad in the background kind of going, Oh, Lux. <laughs> so, he might be listening. So that's extra pressure. Yeah. Plus a camera crew in. I yeah. know. <laughs> you don't, don't like it, about, do you? you know, this is good training for MTV, because then he can watch you on TV. I mean, what's he gonna make of that? Oh. Yeah. Does he know you're bald? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. don't keep your hat on when you're with him and say, oh no, I'll just press the buttons. No, it's no. just, it's just, you know, it's like when, when I was in any plays, I didn't tell him. No. Um, any sort of parents' evening, and never gave them the note. Uh -huh. <laughs> really? Yeah. So then what did the teachers think? You were just an orphan? No, just on an off chance, um, my mate's dad spoke to me dad once, I think, and sort of said, oh, you got to school to see how, you know, your kid's doing. Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> so there's a parents' evening, so he went- <laughs> He said what kid? He went to one, and that's when Mrs. Matthew said I'd never be a high flyer. <laughs> <laughs> Was she? Yeah. <laughs> I think we should call Mrs. Matthews and make her eat her words. Well, <laughs> <laughs> ah, she will turn on to MTV when uh, I don't know, that, like their their slamming session. Yeah, yeah. and they're, they're going, that's young Pilkington. <laughs> He's bald, but it's definitely him. <laughs> I <laughs> recognise that Willie Hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, did you see <laughs> Celebrity Fit Club yesterday? I missed it. I didn't watch any TV this week. The only what TV I watched was um, Are You Good in Bed. I already knew the answer. What was it? Do you had to have to tick points. Yeah, yeah. Right. It was no. <laughs> <laughs> I was off the scale. <laughs> well, talking off the scales, Rick Waller. 
Really? Is yeah. he off? What's well, on? what he did is he lost, he lost weight and they couldn't believe it and he had a big argument with Harvey and they said go, never come back to it, right? And then he got to Wayne and he'd lost sort of like ten pounds or something. Mm. And, uh, they were really, they said you've been starving yourself, haven't you? And he admitted it. And, um, <laughs> I thought he just, just wasn't wearing his underpants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but he's, he was whinging all the time. He was watching it, he was doing a press, he was going, I've hurt my arm. He was going, I feel sick. And he was going, um, and he was just lying all the time about whether he was doing the routine and what about what he was eating and stuff. And I thought, that's me with yeah, this celebrity like box. It is, it because like it's sort of like, and they go, how's it going? Do you have another drink this week? I mean, I go, no. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't had a beer this week. No. <laughs> Did you do the exercise day? And I go, yep. Yeah, I've done all that, done all that, done all that. Yeah. And I try and get out of the sparring because it hurts because there's a man hitting me in the face for fun. Right. Um, because you know that's what boxing is. So yeah, that is being hit, yeah. I'm I like all you... the, I like all the bits except the being hit. I don't even mind hitting someone. Right, I'm so you- I'd be willing to hit someone. Uh -huh. It's the getting hit that I don't like. Because I know you're a big fan of, um, like wearing the clothes, the sort of sporty gear. I'm I know looking you, you good, you, you look good and you've, you've obviously switched they've, better they've, than they've, they've, they've no, no, they gave that's me this free, to that's free of charge. That, this was free so to know training. That's a perk you love. So, uh, And I know yeah. you like, um, kind of the, uh, the sort of various sort of nutritional drinks you've got to drink. I know you're a big fan of those. I love the protein shake because mm. it tastes like chocolate. Mm. You know what? I've put on a couple of pounds since <laughs> I've been doing this training. <laughs> nice. I think it is the extra meal and, uh, So you're adding the protein but not- out enough to, to take it off again. Yeah, but I, th I think I've, um, I have actually changed a bit. I've got a, 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 an inch on my chest, but an inch off my waist. So right. even though I've put on weight, uh, there must be a little bit of muscle happening uh -huh, uh -huh. somewhere. So I just, uh, just to, to, to recap that slightly, you're, you're, you're enjoying all the trappings of boxing. Yeah. But not the boxing. Not the getting hit in mm -hmm. the nose. Right. That's the one. And you are that's aware that that's what will, what, what will be happening during the, the actual no, fight. No, because that's... I've got a cunning plan. Okay. I'm gonna, Duck and dive. Just, yeah. And okay. bob and weave. Dance. Uh -huh. I'm gonna dance. Well, I read in the paper yesterday, I don't know how much truth there is, that, uh, Grant Bovey has recruited celebrity hypnotist Paul McKenna <laughs> to help him win. <laughs> Yeah, so I don't true. know if that's a really because I know you've got, haven't you got Berm, you've got uh, Spit the Dog. <laughs> I've got, got a couple of ventriloquists <laughs> <laughs> and an impressionist on your side. <laughs> 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 I've got pork pie from Desmond. Yeah, exactly. Just yeah. getting me chained. Yeah, in your corner. Mentally. Yeah. 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 Well, I don't know. It's all a bit of fun. What do you reckon, Carl? What do, you, do you think he's, uh, well, what's, what's McKenna gonna be doing? Is like, Grant Bovey gonna be turning to a chicken and... You know yeah, what I mean? He's gonna do an Elvis impression. Yeah. And take off <laughs> if I say the right words. No, I think it's probably, he's probably gonna just help yeah, him focus it's, it's, and- Yeah, and, exactly, um, yeah. I, I think there's, there's lots of sports psychologists out there at the moment getting people, so I'm sure it's, uh, I'm sure it's valid. If it's true, I'm sure it's, uh, Ooh. fine. But, um, I've been, I've been, I've been getting tuned mentally learning how to hit. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was my method. Eating and hitting. I think is. And do you work out to any music? I mean, do you put on the Rocky soundtrack? Because I know you've got, um, no, a CD with all, with music from the, all five films, haven't you? No, we don't. It's all, it's, um, I think they have the radio on down there, but you don't hear it. It's, uh -huh. all you hear is people shouting, saying things like, that's not like a fighter, and me going, I'm not a fighter, yeah, I'm a yeah. comedian. And is it quite intimidating down there? I mean, do they, yeah. I mean, I'm sure they're nice it's, people, but is I'm, it I'm like... getting used to it now, but it's, it is, it is, it is a different world, and I was quite scared, and I, I didn't When like... you say it's a different, I mean, is it like, is it like they're gangsters? I mean, is it kind no, of... I don't no, mean, I just no, mean, no. is it got that feel? You know when you see it in films, they walk into those places, and, you know, they're kind of, they're hard nuts, and there's that feel like... Well, they're, I mean, they're, they're, they're all, you know, they're all ex-boxers and stuff, so yeah, yeah. But, I mean, but no, they're not, they're not, no, no, no that's not, that's not what I mean. I, I, I suppose it's like they're real men. <laughs> well, yeah, and, um, they, they, they don't understand, really, that I am, I don't like getting hit on the nose. And they say, mm. well, no one gets hit on the nose. And it took me a long time to get over that, just, just taking a couple of punches. Yeah. I, I wanted to rule it out. Yeah. And, uh, um, but, you know, it, it's okay now. And, and of course they're, I know they're mollycoddling me, they're not, they're yeah. using about 25% power, uh, yeah. and I'm still- And you I'm wear the headgear, do you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and the gum shield, yeah. I wanted to wear a crash helmet. <laughs> right. But they yeah. said no. And carry a baseball bat, and they yeah. said that's, that's technically <laughs> yeah. illegal. But, um, I'm looking for, I'm a changed man, Carl. What we got coming up? Got a bit of a, uh, Death in Vegas with vocals from Liam Gallagher. Final question for you, Rick. Do you on. think you'll carry on boxing after <laughs> this is finished? Competitively? No, 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 just the training and stuff. Yeah, and I, I do, do the you training. Think so? Yeah, no, I love the, I love the training. I love learning the, the skills and I, and I do enjoy the training. I don't, I, I don't relish getting punched around. And, I, and I'm not worried about the fight at all. I'm really looking forward to the, the fight because, um, Grant's a novice like me. It's just when you get in with an ex-pro who you know could destroy you <laughs> yeah, any, yeah, yeah. so you're scared of it. And, 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 you know, they never lose their rag and they're really cool and they're really nice and they've never, act, they've never even hit me by mistake. But even just tapping you like that in the yeah. face hurts. I just, I was walking down Finchley Road and a couple of six former said, oh, you lanky gog like freak. And I just wondered if maybe you could pop round <laughs> and have a word with them. <laughs> yeah, I will. I'll I will. Some of your friends. <laughs> no, yeah. Uh, an enemy of yours is an enemy <laughs> exactly. of mine. Good. 
Scorpio Rising, Death in Vegas on XFM 104.9. Steve, mm -hmm. I'm Ricky Gervais. Carl, Carl's a little bit more, less stressed now. There's ca a camera crew have gone, his dad's not listening, we think. Well, well yeah, who knows? Mm. Who knows? But, uh, you're chilled. I tell you what though, me, uh, my mum was loving it. Do you, know, do you know Rockbusters? I love- do I know Rockbusters? I love Rockbusters. I think uh, I dream of it. She was taking part- I mean she doesn't know a lot of the, the new bands and that, mm. but she uh, she made some up for uh, some older bands and that. Oh she she did some herself? She made some herself, sent them in the post. So are you gonna use those today? Um, she's not quite got the hang of it. Okay. So, oh, uh, I'm like- I'm like a genius son. Have you got them there? Can we hear what they well, are? Do you keep talking a second then. I'm quite excited. I mean if they're- if they're even approaching say the genius of Wet Knee Houston. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. uh, there was another one which was something to do with a trench, Carl. What was that? I oh, that was Dandy Warhols. That was a good one. Dandy Warhols. That, I think yeah. that was his, that that was was his finest moment. Yeah. yeah. Incidentally, I've got an email here from uh, someone called Sauda, if that's a he or a she, but let's assume it's a she, just for uh, glam's sake. Yeah. Um, she says she saw an old man eating a Twix last week, Carl, so that blows your theory out the I'm not having it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so if you are a bloke, he's calling you a liar. So maybe you want a little rumble later? In fact, if you are a bloke, he's calling you a girl. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, yeah then. Um, these are ones that my mum's made up. Um, Brilliant. Right, just in case you're a new listener, I'll give some initials out and a cryptic clue. Mm. And, and it makes up a band, doesn't it? Yeah. Or a solo artist. Yeah, or a solo not artist. so much cryptic as wh what, what you're thinking. Well, yeah. go on. Uh, my mum sent this one. Uh, this group would be good at doing your hair. <laughs> this group would be good at doing your hair. TP. Uh, is, there, is there a group called the hairdressers <laughs> from the 60s? This group would be good at doing what? your hair. TP. TP. TP, TP. Is it the something? The platters. The platters. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, all right. Yeah, so that's, that's alright. Nice. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, this group sound like dinosaurs. This group sound like dinosaurs. T Rex. T Rex. <laughs> yeah. I see what you mean. They're not so much cryptic, are they? Uh, this group. <laughs> they're very low. They're good. This group <laughs> likes being uh, by the sand and the, and the sea. <laughs> this group likes being by the sand. They're the Beach Boys, by Beach Boys. <laughs> 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 this band are called the Beatles. Ah, <laughs> uh, the Beatles. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> we just have, just uh, have a. a the <laughs> <laughs> what else you got? Um, <laughs> it's oh, funny because because one of them that she's done, I'm actually doing today. I thought of in the week. Right? So, is it the same clip? Uh, it was. Yeah. Wow. Well, great minds think alike. Here's so the last one. Here's the last one from a. This guy sounds superb. <laughs> this guy sounds superb. The Bachelors. Glenn Campbell. That's good. I like that. I think I'll tell you this. I think you should get onto one of the big game uh, organisations, Parker Brothers or whatever, because this has got to be. T I mean, this could sweep the nation at Christmas. Don't you think this is the perfect <coughs> Christmas game? Yeah. Well, I think this is what's going to make or break the MTV thing. Right. <laughs> Some kind of TV version. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm just yeah. thinking mm. into ad breaks, you know, coming up next is this band. Be careful though, Carl, because, you know, make sure you retain the rights, because I can see this selling abroad. You yeah. Know, you and I can America. see someone coming along and taking the sort of like the, the, the rock busters and changing one word and like another na like another game out of it and just what, what using the same format. What, I don't know, I know, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, I can't think of nothing there, but they could change, so sort, sort of like- They change yeah. the word rock to something else and have it- What could it be, brick block? Yeah, and so you have yeah. to, you know what I mean? So yeah, be careful. Blockbusters yeah. will never work. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his little face. So, uh, so yeah, so we're doing that later. Got some good prizes. Okay. We'll you talk about the prizes we'll talk about that a bit. Yeah. yeah. Um, educating Ricky. Yeah, we've got, got that. that. We've got the woman who's got a ghost in her house. Yeah. It's a shame she's not here live because I feel like I want to ask a few questions, Rick. I don't know about you. Don't uh, worry, I've covered it all. You've covered it all. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, play a record. Rick, um, I know probably you like me are just too busy really to keep abreast of new music, aren't you? Yeah. I mean, we're busy people. We got you know important showbiz pirates to go to and stuff. That's why I have friends of mine who send me compilations and stuff. That's one of my yeah. uh, quarterly compilations from my friend Harry, and that's all downhill from here by Jim O'Rourke. I've got a new track coming up later actually that oh, I think you might like. So uh, okay, you know okay. we're we're um. We're inflaming each other's desire for new <laughs> songs as well as going back to the back catalogue of some classics. Sure, sure. All sure. right? <laughs> I love adverts better though. <laughs> so I do. I love adverts. It's weird. <laughs> Missy Elliott on XFM 104.9, Ricky Gervais with me, Steve and Carl. Mm. Carl, why have you got a headache? You got a headache? Just a bit stressful because the moves, moves on this, uh, this week. Oh, you're moving yeah. house? Oh, by the way, uh, the XFM listeners came round to my house and bought the, uh, feet on a table. Did they? Quite they're happy with it. Quite normal. They were well happy. Yeah. Couldn't believe the luck with it. What do you mean quite normal? What do you mean quite normal? Well, it's always a bit scared, isn't it, getting- getting people round. I imagine they were scared. <laughs> well, 
<laughs> and were they excited to see you? Could they, I mean, they were, you know, could you tell that they were pretty pleased to see you? No, I don't think so, I mean. You well, know, you're Carl Pilkington. Yeah, but I, uh, the, the fellas sort of, I mean, they brought the whole family round, which was a bit odd. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not often they get the chance to, to visit a living freak. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, no, uh, they, were not, they were nice. They and you're nice. moving now. Yeah. He said he phoned me up today. You know, it was absolutely tipping it down. <laughs> he had to cycle it in. Because <laughs> he said, because of the move, he doesn't want to leave his bike around there. <laughs> and he said, <laughs> he said, and uh, Suzanne, oh, I can't say this in case he's listening, can I? He won't know. Will uh, he? He, said, he said Suzanne's hired the oldest removal man in London. <laughs> you should hear him. <laughs> And the thing is, right, we ah. booked him, we booked him because everyone else happened to be booked out, but this fella's free, right? <laughs> so he called up this morning, <laughs> I've never spoke to him, but he was on the phone, he sounded about 90. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Carl thinks that he's gonna have to do all the work. And the, and the thing is, <coughs> right, we, well, it, it seems he, to be all cheap. All he wanted some Werther Originals. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. listen, <laughs> it seems to be cheap because it's fifty pound an hour. <laughs> but how long is it gonna take him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's so genius! When's the move on then? When's the end? Oh, he's coming round. He came round today to bring some empty boxes, and he was struggling with them. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, oh, it, it actually well. happens on Wednesday. Oh God! Anyway, oh. so um, Richard, so, I noticed that you were laughing and almost had a heart attack. <laughs> Doesn't bode well for the boxing match. I've got a car for the moment, and I, I've had my limbs it. Anyway, what are we doing now, Carl? Well, oh. um. I teased you with it before. Mm. Um, <coughs> you gonna get it out again? I, uh, <laughs> I'm always like trying to get you, you know, thinking, opening, opening your mind right. up a bit to to ghosts and stuff. Yes. So um, this woman who I know, she uh, she said she'd come in and I could interview her to try mm. and sort of you know get the belief out there. Okay. Um, so yeah, because there's not I'd enough belief in the occult and rubbish out yeah. there. So, so does she, she think she has a ghost? <coughs> <coughs> she has, yeah, she's, she's, she's had a few. She has, no, it's fact. <laughs> yeah, no, so, yeah, she has. So I thought maybe it's a new feature we could try for a couple of weeks, see how it goes down. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you know Parkinson? Uh huh. What about Pilkington? <laughs> Welcome to, uh, Pilkington. Thank uh, you. My guest today is Taryn, she's a plugger. Uh, you're still a plugger, right? No, we do co-management Right, now. she does co-management, but she was a plugger, she looked after Therapy, Raging Speed on Slash, all the big names, yeah? Um, but we're not here to talk about music today, we do a lot of that on XFM. Today we're talking ghosts. Now, Ricky and Steve, who I do the show with, they, uh, they're not having any of it. So, I said, well, I know someone who, uh, you know, gets on with ghosts, there's a lot of them. Um, so I thought I'd get you in today, have a little chat for a couple of minutes, uh, just to sum up the story so they get an idea of what happened. Um, you had a horse, yeah? You had it in some stables. Yes. He hasn't there to speak yet. Uh, you went to, like, look after it and that, play yeah. around with it, take it for a ride and that. Riding, yeah. yeah. Um, two of your mates were in the stable where your horse is. Not my stable, in the opposite but stable. In the opposite stable. And I heard them giggling and Been messing up about and that, yeah. You heard them having a laugh. So you thought, right, what are they up to? So you go in and they're messing about with a Ouija board. Yeah. Right. So this is where you come in. Did you get involved with the Ouija board? Unfortunately, I did. Right. And what happened then, then? I was like, oh, you don't believe in this, oh, let me have a go. Right. And, uh, ask a few questions, put our hands on, and it actually started moving. So a lot of the stuff you asked it, has that, did the things happen that yes, you asked? Yes, they did. Right? So that's scary for a start, right? We haven't even got to the ghost beat yet. So you mess about trap with that. Trap soul, yeah? I like to call it. Right, him. trap soul. So you're messing about on the Ouija board, you say, right, I've had enough of this now. Yeah. I've got all the answers I need. Yeah. You go home. I didn't like them. <laughs> you go in the house and it's a bit nippy. The house, the flat is absolutely fine. It's when I went into the bedroom. You've got to remember, it's a very, very warm, hot evening. Right. And walk into the bedroom and no, note it is cold. Colder than usual. But I'm actually quite glad because it's so hot. Right, okay. Completely ignored the fact that the windows were all shut but the curtains were blowing. Didn't sleep well at all. Right. Next evening, same again. Freezing. 
Yeah, when very, very noticeably cold. Curtains uh, blowing. Yeah, I'm fast asleep, get woken up, the wardrobe's opening. So, at this point, this is where we clear up, you're not, you're not on crack, you're not- No, never touched drugs in my entire life. You're not a drinker. No. Um, I will have the old glass of red wine. Yeah, right, that, that's, that's alright, they recommend that anyway. They say it's good for your heart. What started happening was, as the week progressed, I also felt the bed covers at one point at night fold over, double bed, the bed covers fold over, and it was like someone was getting in the bed next to me. But you've got to remember, when you're in a deep sleep, yeah. you're not quite thinking, and you're thinking, I'm losing it. <sighs> I was getting more and more tired, more and more a little stressed, and really thinking I was having a breakdown. The final straw was when the clothes on the end of my bed that I just throw hit me. How come you were going back home at night? Because I was sceptical. In fact, six months ago, I just said, I, I don't want to go there. People will think I'm mad. But do you know what? I don't care. Yeah. I know there's more out there. Well, brilliant. Well, cheers for that. And, uh, thanks for being a guest on, uh, on Pilkington. <laughs> Incisive, <laughs> investigative journalism there. I like the fact that you've learned a lot from Parkinson, even stealing some of his questions, like, are you on crack? Which yeah, I know he always yeah. asks his guests. Yeah, yeah. I like the fact that when she went, I don't know, I have the occasional way to go, that's all right for you. Good for your art. <laughs> that was great. It was brilliant. Although that is I the best interview technique I've ever heard anywhere. I, I feel like there's still some questions unanswered. Yeah, it hasn't proved it to me, I'll be honest, <laughs> no, Carl. It hasn't proved me the existence of, of ghosts I have and to say, Luke, I was, I was worried as soon as she got involved with the Ouija board. I yeah, was yeah, yeah, please, yeah, yeah, I was yeah, thinking, please yeah, do not get yeah, involved with that Ouija yeah, board. Yeah, 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 I was worried when I said I heard some giggling from coming from the other stable. Yeah. Don't yeah. go over there. <laughs> yeah. Don't go over there. It's, uh, what, uh, questions did she ask the Ouija board? You didn't ask her that, I noticed. She didn't, she didn't wanna- She didn't wanna say. No. Okay. Do you think it was something like why that you did to try and confuse the computer mm. and the spirit world got mm. really annoyed and they <laughs> yeah. got confused and they came back and started messing up her clothes? <laughs> but what, what do you think then? There's, there's what do you mean? What well, do you mean what do I think? What do you think? What, you know what, 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 what about what? what there's, there's nothing I can answer there. There's nothing I can answer. All right. She said- Well, she I'll just keep saying I don't believe in the existence of ghosts because of the impossibility. Right. Now, when she said, I mean, the interview I did for 50 minutes. You did for how long? Fifty minutes. Fifty. But five thought, minutes. Yeah, we might use that at Christmas or something, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, but the thing is, well, that's right? the best you got out of fifty minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, no, there's the highlights. <laughs> no, <I'll be> <laughs> MTV are not going to call again. I will tell you what, right? It did get a bit dark, and uh, I didn't want, I didn't want that Don't sort of stuff going out Saturday right? afternoon. Yeah. But um, I can, I can understand the heating thing. I said, well, you know, in the full interview, I was saying, you know, that could, that could be anything, could it? Heating broke or something. Mm. Mm. Now, she said the, the, uh, what else was she talking about? Someone got into the bed next to her. Yeah, I mean, I sort of said, well, um, you know, how did that happen? Yeah. And she couldn't explain it herself, but sure, I said, sure. but, but it did wake you up. Maybe you're mm. a little bit sort of, oh, but yeah. still Although tired. the only explanation I can think of, if she didn't actually see anyone, is whether it was a ghost. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well that She's was She's probably got a ghost but getting what, but in But what about cupboards opening and shutting? See, that's, that, again, the only explanation for that is a ghost. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I can't think of anything else. Play a record. It's gotta be a yeah, ghost. It is ghost. I think you've proven it to us. Yeah. A spirit. Yeah. Street spirit? Yeah. Nice. What yeah. Else? Street spirit. Radiohead. So, turns out ghosts do exist <laughs> yeah. after all, Steve. A woman what Carl knows proved it. I've got egg on my face. Yep. On XFM. Instantly, Rick, I should gone. just encourage you and everyone else listening. Oh, really, I've got egg on my face. Is that what you're gonna say? Yeah, I've just been <laughs> eating an omelette. James Randi, a yeah. hero of yours and a hero yeah. of mine, yeah. he's on TV this week on Horizon, I think it's maybe Thursday, check press for details, trying to expose the nonsense that is homeopathy. Oh, yeah, I saw that, yeah. So, I uh, look forward to that. Do you know what that is, Carl? Oh, go on. Um, They've got a theory that um, if you say say you got something uh, 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 an essential oil or something or, uh, uh, in a solution, uh, one in ten solution, and it does something to you, actually does something to you. Um, they've got this thing where they dilute it, dilute it to so there's nothing in it, but because they're using the same water, and the 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 dilute the water still has the same effect. It's sort of like it's sort of like a placebo that you know works. You know, that's the sort of theory of it. Mm. What time's that on? 
<laughs> uh, check the papers, but I think it's, uh, sort of nine o'clock Thursday, something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. It'll be interesting though, Carl. It will be interesting, mate. Trust me. I'll tell you what's also interesting, Rick. The prizes we're giving away this Go week on, on uh, Rockbusters. We got for you, uh, David Attenborough's The Life of Mammals. I don't know, is this a new show? Is this on TV at the moment? Is this like yeah. a new thing? Uh, so that looks good. It's like a, a double VHS thing there. Um, we've also got a U2, the best of their, um, 90s videos. Uh, even better than the real things on there. Mysterious Ways, Beautiful Day, Electrical Storm, the new one. Stuff on there, that's on the video. Uh, we've also got a couple of CDs, The Smashing Pumpkins. I think this is sort of alternative versions of a lot of their hits and stuff, live yeah, versions live stuff and, and, and stuff like this. Johnny Cash's current album, possibly his last, uh, we don't know, cause apparently he's, he's not very well at the moment. So, uh, an uh, album of covers? Yeah, well not all covers, some of his new stuff as oh, well, but he's done, them. uh, covers of things like Personal Jesus by Depeche Mode, and mm. Desperado, um, and Bridge Over Troubled Water. And the great thing about Cash is I read an amazing review where it says it's like he always makes them his own, do you know what I mean? It's like you can't even remember the old version. Well, Desperado by the Eagles? By the Eagles, yeah. Oh, could I, I'd like to play that, just yeah, to hear well, that, uh, cause I haven't heard that, we'll play we'll that and then that. give it away. These are actually good prizes, Carl. Good prizes. We've also got, um, uh, if, including a small, uh, miniature three-wheel car, uh, an Only Fools and Horses video. I think this is the, uh, special that was on Christmas TV last year. So if you're one of the, uh, the people who didn't see it, I mean, wasn't there like 22 million people yeah, watching? Yeah, ridiculous, yeah. If you're one of the people who, you know, desperately wants to see it again, I know I do. And, and, <laughs> and, and, um, and, and wants a small yellow car. And also wants thrown a small in. yellow car. Then, uh, then there it is. And, uh, also, another of these, um, compilations, Arbitrary Compilation Albums, the best chill-out album ever, Rick. Sure. Um, if you're a fan of the Levi's Freedom ad, I then love the <laughs> Levi's Freedom ad. Then, uh, the track that- I hate Freedom the music has. to it, though. No, 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 well, that's a shame, because uh, it's, it's, <laughs> got, it's included <laughs> on here. <laughs> Rick, how much do you love the Volvo TV ever? Love it, love it. Cause that's Hate a, the music again though, why? That's a shame because that, oh, is it, that oh, track is, is also music? On Oh, okay. Sure, sure. But there's also sure. stuff on here, there's some interesting stuff, there's Pink Floyd, there's Coldplay, there's Roy Scott, so um, you know, it's probably worth I it. I love Pink Floyd. Except the music again. <laughs> <laughs> so so we got a bind a whole, for me. That's a whole heap of treats And, there, that, and, and the, that's the winner of Rockbusters. That's the winner of Rockbusters. Coming up week. after the adverts. Okay. Yeah. Doves, caught by the river on XFM 104.9, we're into the second hour now. This is when this award-winning show really kicks into gear. The when last you say award-winning, uh, we, we haven't won them yet. I mean, it, uh, it, we will win some. Hang on, let me remind you. Uh, listen, there are bronze in the Sony Awards. Oh yeah, we got bronze. We I got don't go for bronze. I don't it doesn't think count. That counts. No. no, it doesn't count. It doesn't count. Um, uh, I'm Ricky Gervais, obviously, with me, Steve Merchant, and Carl Pilkington, which is uh, what Heat write about, really. Uh, Carl's the main man. Think of Carl a year ago. He was just sitting in that room, going, "All right, all right, I've done this." <laughs> XFM. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a music bed. Brilliant. Comes on the show, we start taking the piss out of him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. People start going, oh, who's the, who's the idiot you've got in? And we go, it's Carl. And they yeah. go, we like him. He's a, he's a fool. I go, yes, he's a fool. <laughs> he's a pet buffoon. And they go, we'll let him speak more. Right? And they're going, don't let him talk, don't let him talk, XFM, the, the fat cats. Oh. And I said, I'm a rebel and I do it my way. Rick, I asked, did you stick it to the man? Yeah, I yeah, my... yeah. And then MTV call up. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. Heat are writing about him every week. Yeah. He's just been doing film for the BBC. There's some rumours he might be the new James Bond. Is it? Yeah, yeah. He's got, he's, uh, he's got, is he in lovely McVitie's original digestives? Are we allowed to, can I, uh, if McVitie's are listening, I love these biscuits. Yeah. Um, yeah. and, uh, and he's got the best- If, if the spearmint <laughs> right now strip clubs are listening, I'm a huge fan. <laughs> right? And he's got rockbusters to come. Yes, Let's do it. I should just ask, the, the few people have asked me this, uh, and there's also an email here from Rich, people are saying they've seen some of the posters and the adverts of, uh, advertising the show, plugging the show, why isn't your, why aren't you on the posters, Carl? And it is your choice, isn't it? We did ask, uh, Carl to be involved, but Well, he, he is actually, it's like, like to do where's it? Waldo? He's actually- <laughs> he's, he's, there, he's, he's in my trousers. <laughs> 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 Carl, you don't like having your photo taken, do you? You don't want, you don't, you don't, you're not seeking the publicity. No. I reckon you good are like, secretly. Right. I don't believe you. No, are. he's right. He's totally right. He's doing it just right. But I think there's a, there's a fine line to be drawn that you know if if you like being in you know around radio, you've got a, and you, you want your own show or, or you enjoy talking and they just happen to be filming you for MTV. That's different. I think what you just avoid is going to silly celebrity bashes, having your picture taken for the sake of it. I mean, I think you're right, but. I think you should do the screen test. On a serious note, I think you should do the screen test. Just because it might be fun, and if it's no good, they won't do it. And you can stop any time you want. Yeah, no well, one has I'm, to keep going on telly. I just think we're gonna lose him. No, no. We won't lose him. Listen, right? I'll always be part of this. <laughs> I'm just worried that you're gonna get- you're gonna exhaust yourself. You're gonna be drained. You're gonna have told all your anecdotes he, on He MTV. certainly will have- uh, if he has to help the old fella upstairs with the yeah, bed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, fifty pounds an hour. Oh. That's well, terrible. Go on. But, so- But I'm- I'm- what I wanted to do, right, cause- I don't want to embarrass myself, right? Mm. I don't want to embarrass the woman at MTV when I turn up and she thinks, oh, look at him. Yeah. 
what a waste of film this is gonna be. Cause it's not cheap. I know sure. that. It's not film either, but go on. Well. It won't be. It is cheap. It is cheap. They're, they're, they're filming on a DV camera that they can go over. Uh, if it's no good, they won't show it to anyone. It'll be great. It, it's just what they want you. Honestly, I can just see you doing little things, just like popping up, you know, between the records and going, all right, uh, MTV, uh, music television, uh, hear about the airy Chinese kid born, which is weird, isn't it? Because they're not usually airy. And it just goes, <laughs> MTV. It'd be brilliant. It'd be brilliant, Carl. Mm. If I, I'll come down with you. I'll come down with you. Well, we'll see. We'll, Go on. We'll think about it, right? Go on. Um. Right, Rockbusters. So, Rockbusters, um, we, you know, it's a little clue, some initials, three different clues. You email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk, you can win the, the load of stuff that we've got. So, um, first one, um, here's the clue. Stop throwing that fruit about. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. What's the initial? That's CB. 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 Stop throwing that fruit about. Yeah. Right. Is Anders listening? Has he emailed us in yet? Anders, not had, a, not had any response from Anders. I'll keep, uh, keep I hope he hasn't stopped listening. Because right. he doesn't like the show. He's gone off. I hope he hasn't gone off the show. <laughs> so, so uh, the second one, um, that Scottish fella has made an error. That Scottish fella has made an error. Yeah, that's- Interesting. That's M. M. Right, right, that Scottish fella has made an error. Right? Okay. And, uh, the last one, uh, God, you can make a right load of toast with M. <laughs> you can make a right load of toast with them. Yeah. All right. What's the and that's, there? that's G. <laughs> G. I was thinking it might be bread for a minute, but no. Mm. G. So, uh, so just very quickly, stop throwing that fruit about, CB. <laughs> I've got, I've got the last one. All right. Scottish fella. <laughs> it doesn't work. It doesn't count. Doesn't count. Well, that Scottish fella's made an error. That's M. And, uh, God, you can make a right load of toast with them. That's G. Email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk and you can- We've got the CDs, we've got horses, we've got mammals on VHS, we've got U2, uh, we've got a couple of CDs including Johnny Cash. Here's a new tune from a, a, a new fella called Papa Garcia. See what you think of this. Uh. See, if he was on MTV I couldn't say his name. Why? What is it again? Papa Garcia. Right, here's a new one from Papa Garcia. Brilliant. Uh. <laughs> Papa Garcia, Natalie and Nusi from uh, the forthcoming album Bring Me the Head of Papa Garcia. Catchy that. Hmm. Quite retro, it's a bit of a bit of Alton John and all sorts of stories. Yeah, 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 lovely. Um right, here we go. Quick clues again. And then uh, we better do uh, educating Ricky. I, well, this is the favourite bit of my sh the show for me now. Educating Ricky. I love it. I can't well, uh, yeah, I'm yeah. I'm okay. anxious all week. Well just quick quickly on those clues, just in case people need to know again. Uh, stop throwing that fruit about C B. That Scottish fella's made a bit of an error. M. And, uh, God, you can make loads of toast with M. That's, uh, G. Oh, right. brilliant. Ricky.gervais <laughs> at xfm.co.uk. It's email only. Oh, yeah. I need some learning. I need some knowledge, Carl. Well, Educate me. I might be able to help you. Go uh, on. Uh, we've got three things, as always. I give them a little, uh, mm. heading to tease you uh, yeah. as to which one you want to learn first. Yeah. Uh, first one is, uh, is the tip included? Is the tip included? I like yeah. it. Um, second one. I wouldn't have come here in hindsight. Right. I wouldn't have come here in hindsight? Yeah. Okay. And the third one, am I gonna have to thump you? Am I gonna have to thump you? Mm. Okay, and you've trolled, what, to... the internet? So, I, 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 so, I, so if I can get into the mindset of this plan, uh, is the tip included? Well, obviously, that's probably not gonna be about a waiter. It's gonna be like, is that, if that's someone losing the end of his knob, I assume, um, am I gonna have to thump you? That's a man who, Lost his arm in a fight, but then picked it up with the other arm and smacked him <laughs> with it. Um, what was the middle one? I want to come here in hindsight. Hindsight. Hind. Hind's like, sight? Uh, yeah, uh, it, yeah, it's someone was blinded by baked beans. Sure. So what are you going for then? Uh, I think I'd better go for, um, armor oh, gonna have to thump you. Alright, well this isn't- I've been struggling again, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> um, searching iron low for stuff and, and some of these I had to leave till this morning. To right, cause okay there's okay just not morning. enough knowledge out in the world, is not there, much that is you don't on. know about? I found out about something in the week about a guy who, um, uh, was playing tug of war. This is bonus material, <laughs> isn't it? He was playing tug of war. Oh, the, uh, his arm came off. His, only his arm come off. Yeah, he got caught up in the rope, yeah. No, 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 he didn't. He didn't get caught up in the rope, he just was trying that hard and didn't want to lose. He kept holding But he allowed it. his arm to be pulled off. He really wanted to win. And well, the other no. team, the, the other team pulled it and his arm come off. No. Well. I don't know who to believe. Well, uh, think about it, if he's gripping, yeah. as soon as there's tension, like the, the, the arm coming out of the socket, the hand might release. 
I think his arm got caught up in the rope. And so it was involuntary, as opposed to him going, well, my arm's coming off, but I'm not gonna lose this! <laughs> you might be anyway, right. That's the, that's the fact that's you're not a bonus. Tell us. That's a bonus fact. Yeah, well, that's, that's educated uh, me. Well, a man lost his arm. Oh, interesting. Go uh, on. Um, arm, I'm gonna have to thump you. Yeah. Do you know the saying, uh, shut your face? <laughs> 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 yeah, same? I've heard the well-known Shakespeare, innit? Yeah. Do, you know, do you know how it came about? Uh, no, Joe Dolce. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, go on. It's, uh, ages ago. Oh, yeah, literally, <laughs> literally. <laughs> like, uh, knights who wore armour. Okay. That's, uh, armour going after something, you know, that's how it came about. Okay, armour. Um, right. they, they wore all the stuff and they had the helmet and say if they, they guarding something at night. Mm. Stood outside a castle or something. Yeah. And there's probably gonna be two of them. Mm. Right. So they stood there talking and that. <laughs> and, uh, talking about stuff. And. The future. Sort of, yeah. Medieval stuff. One yeah. of them, one of them's like, oh, I wish you'd shut up. You know, I've been stood here for hours and he's going on and you on. Get, yeah, sure. So he'd say, shut your face. Meaning, shut the guard down on your helmet. The visor. Okay. And I can't hear you then. Uh huh. So shut, shut your face. Shut your face. And that's okay. how, that's how it came about. Well, I suppose that's, it would be interesting if I could just rely on it. As I'm a, not sure it's true. Yeah. I know. I just never know. I can. It needs to be cooperated. It's like I don't know where he got it from, but anything via Carl mm. is precarious. Yeah, though. I mean, I feel like maybe you should give us your sources next time. You know, tell us. Where I you know, got I'll tell you. From. Got it off the internet. Yeah, but where on the internet? I can't remember where that one was. I mean, I, I always go through like the news pages and stuff. And I, I, I this news should be updated because <laughs> they've only reached the 17th century, <laughs> which is last week with people eating um, tomatoes no, off no, lead but plates. Then I look at news and there was stuff about a woman who was in a shop and she, um, I don't know, some they had some workmen in, workmen in doing the shop up, and they had some wood glue left out in chest for some pear juice, and then the guy went and thought the glue in the thing was the pear juice, and she went and drank that, but that's not really. News. No. So I thought, well, we're it's not doing really that. I wish you hadn't told us. There was one about. So there's some poor woman now whose ties of tiles have fallen off because she tried to put them up with pear juice. Yeah. See, that's the that's the danger of mixing up pear juice with toxic glue. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Your wallpaper and your tiles <laughs> and everything just yeah. fall down. Um. There was, there was <laughs> Be also careful, th everyone. Be please. careful. There was something about uh, kids having hamburgers. It makes them fat. Hamburgers. Uh, yeah, hold on. What? You having. F food with high fat yeah. content can make you put on weight. Yeah. Don't believe it. You're an idiot. What's so, the next one? Well, no, um, let's play tune. No, let's play tune. Well, you've we'll still got back. to come. You've still got. I want to come here in hindsight, and you've still got. Is a tip included? But we've got a bit of. Uh, well, I think we haven't played anything for a while, have we? In terms of the hip hop hooray no, feature no. that I used to uh, be so popular for. So I thought we'd just re resurrect that for one week only. Heat didn't pick up on that one. They did. They didn't. <laughs> didn't really. They. they, they, they <laughs> let me just remind you. Hip hop <laughs> hooray was where I played a hip hop track. And then I said hooray. Or yeah. No, well, no. I think no, we, no, didn't, didn't, didn't even know that. Brilliant. Really. That's brilliant. a great. That's a great thing, though. We can add that in. We could phase that in. Maybe at the end of the uh, song. You can hooray. Add. Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay. Oh, check it. Featuring Puff Daddy and Little Kim. That's notorious. B.I.G. Brilliant. And, uh, notorious. Great. Lovely. Carl just uh, said to me, "Yeah, hey, here's something. You can't hold your breath to death." <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried it, Carl? It's <laughs> 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 just another little lesson. <laughs> 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 oh. There's someone here who's in a really low ebb. Yeah, they've been listening yeah, to a show, yeah, they were going to commit suicide. Yeah, yeah. They just start holding their breath and thinking, oh, yeah. oh, screw it. Well, what oh. did you learn in the week, right? I'm always doing all the educating. I asked you, you were talking about watching a programme about jellyfish. <laughs> yeah. And I said, well, that'll be interesting. I'll try and find some stuff out, but I couldn't find anything that I didn't already know about them. <laughs> <laughs> it must be difficult for you to find anything you don't already know. So what 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 did you learn about jellyfish? I, I agreed with you by the end of it that they should be wiped off the face of the earth because they're balls of water in membrane, right, that go around stinging people to death. Yeah. Let's lose them, Carl. Let's lose the jellyfish. Yeah? That's, that's what I think. <laughs> Because mm -hmm. I, I was stung mm -hmm. by one. Did it, you know? Oh, you got stung by yeah, one? Yeah, I yeah, was yeah, on holiday yeah. and got stung by one. Yeah. And I, d I don't understand. No, I don't you're understand not. Them, I'm not a fan of them. So yeah. that's, that's that. <laughs> Good. So well, that's uh, sorted out the jellyfish conundrum. <laughs> We've <laughs> solved that particular worry. Right then. Yeah. So, uh, take your pick then. I asked him his, what, if he could have any animal the other day. Did I ask him on air as well? Don't know. Off air, he <laughs> said, I've got it down to two. Right, and this was 
He said, he said, uh, what favourite animal we're looking at? Or could I own one? And I went, you could own one. And he went, right, but could I own one? Or would I have, would I have trouble? I went, Carl, you've got all the expertise, you can just have it in whatever it needs. And you're going on there, he went, right. And I won't regret it and get fed up. I said, no, Carl, just what animal, if you could have any animal, what animal would you have? He went, I've got it enough to two. I went, what is it? He said, either the rhino or the hippo. What's your logic? Well, I've... I've... I don't know. That that was then. I mean, ask me tomorrow. And <laughs> I might have two other favourites. Do you know what I mean? When was that? A couple of weeks ago. <laughs> when was that? Well, you were there. Yeah, but you know. What so what, what are they today? Quickly now. First animal. Quickly, comes quickly in now. Head. Any animal I want. You could have any animal in the world. Right. From party, one that's maybe extinct. Anything you want. Right. I might have. Um, I might just for today. Just for today. I might have a scorpion in a in a little box. A little scorpion in a box. No. What's your What's your thinking? It's the chimp every time. It's Just the chimpanzee or the gorilla. No, but have I told you that program about the scorpion? How they all help each other out. Right. Have Scorpions all help each other out. No, no, no. This is brilliant. Right. Somewhere in the desert. Okay. Um. There's these <laughs> in little. In the desert. It's like these little monkeys that are underground or something. <laughs> and there's there's holes. Is this beneath the planet of the apes? <laughs> <laughs> the fourth in the series, Are I they think, talking, the eight? Oh, forget it, actually. No, and you've got it wrong anyway. They're not monkeys. There's little monkeys under the goose. <laughs> yes, what monkeys. are they doing down there? They're Pouring lizards. into underground mines. They're lizards, if you remember. And the lizard goes to sleep, and the bloke comes along. You've told this, and, he, and the oh, we've done it. All right. <laughs> monkey from monkey. Right. Lizard. Oh, That's what monkey. happens in his mind. From lizard to monkey. <laughs> oh, evolution would have been so much easier if Carl was around. Oh, right. uh, turn it into a monkey. I'm fed up with a lizard. Just Wait. promise me once again, Carl. I've asked you before. Promise me you'll never have children. <laughs> <laughs> go on, right, okay. Right, what are you having? Well, what's, what are they again? Is the tip included? Yeah, go on, that one. Right, in Turkey. Nice. Um, <laughs> it's not, actually. Mm -hmm. oh. That's where I went and there was them little fellas after Suzanne in the kitchen. What? <laughs> what do you mean? We stayed in a, we went to Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> you went and, to Turkey um, and there yeah. were some little fellas. Well, they had quite a few sort of midgets working in the kitchen. Why? Um, is, it, is it a theme? No, was it a theme just, holiday? Just, I don't know. Might get them cheaper or something. Was it? Was it so <laughs> they, they were get working. Get them cheaper. They were working in the kitchen, and one of them fancied Suzanne and mm. kept sort of eyeing her up. Mm -hmm. And she was winding me up, saying, "Oh, not eyeing up and down, just eyeing her up." Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, no, so what anyway. was she doing in the kitchen? No, it's like a pick, pick what you want to eat type buffet, but you have people clearing the tables and that, ready for you to come along. Are they low tables? And uh, <laughs> and you know, he was just keeping an eye on her. <laughs> well, what did he say though? Was he? What was it? Was it? Was Turkish? So I don't know what he was saying. He but he was. A, was it? Was he was little um, fella? Yeah. Did he? Talk what do you to mean, it? a little fella? What do you mean, little fella? Sort of dwarf like. <laughs> what do you mean dwarf like? He had magic powers, or he was four foot. No, what do you mean, Carl? A little bloke, just a, 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 like a normal bloke, but small. If you stood him in the desert, you wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> but he'd yeah, be hot and festive. Right, Carl. He should no, watch out for the monkeys. <laughs> yeah, underground. There's underground what, monkeys. Look, look, you can't just say there was a little midget fella who was eyeing up my girlfriend and then leave it. What do you mean? Do, what What was happening? This is a story to us. This is much more interesting to us than and she was deaf, right? And she hit her head. That's much more. I don't understand how this ma how it manifested itself. Did he come over and say something? No. Do you know? You know when it's like girls know, don't they? When when some someone fancies them. What do you mean there was lots of them as well? Do then? they? That's worth knowing. Listen, <laughs> 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 right. Come on. Right. So you went into this. You went to this holiday, yeah. Yeah. And you went into the, the what the dining room or something. Yeah. yeah downstairs. And you looked over. You thought this is all. There's no one serving. Yeah. And they go. <laughs> Wait oh, a minute. Hold on. You looked down and there was a little waiter. There was loads of them running around busy. <laughs> Why <laughs> though? Why? Because it's it summer. What do you mean? Because it was in summer. They had more. They, of them they come out in summer. They come out in summer. What do you mean they had more? What, what do you because mean? Because it's busy, isn't it? Well, no, they they they, in the why winter. were they all midgets? I don't know. Maybe do not heat stunt your growth or something. No. Uh, well, they just happened to. Maybe it was a thing that they did for tourists or something. I don't know. I just got on with my meal. It was a holiday. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> God, right, so, so, so some midget serving. I'm not going to ask any questions. Right, okay, yeah. So they're, they're all little fellas running around, and <laughs> this one always was like, you know, oh, do you do you want a new serve yet? You know what I mean? Going out of his way oh, to sort of turning oh, on the yeah, charm. Yeah, yeah. yeah oh. he was going out of his way. The others weren't. Right. Um, I think what was happening is he'd been working with Santa all for winter. <laughs> yeah. Or this sort of little summer break. This this one he was your waiter, and so he was being polite to you. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But what did Suzanne say then? When to well, she was what, using it to wind me up. What was she saying? Always oh, just like you know, look. look he I, may be small, but he's well built like a 
Yeah, he's all man. So- Were you jealous of a midget then? You were jealous of it him? It is a bit annoying, isn't it? Why? Uh, it wouldn't bother me as much now, cos I've been with her for ages. Right. But at the time, that might have been one of our first holidays and it's like, you, you don't know, want what, what's going on? I've paid for this holiday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then uh, you get off with a midget? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah, so anyway. <laughs> but it doesn't matter cos you got chatted up by a bearded lady, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell you what, yeah. I'll tell you what, no that's got nothing to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> what were you gonna say? Oh, what were you gonna say? I was gonna say the hotel was half bored and maybe. Oh, right. Yeah. I thought you were gonna say it's just one of her shortcomings. So listen, right? Play, play a record, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Baddy drum boy, uh, born again. Right, just get this educating Ricky out of the way. So, turkey, yeah. So what is this again? Th this is educating Ricky, is a tip included. Right. Apparently a fella was on holiday in Turkey. Um, he's just having a normal holiday, weather's good, you know, he's having a good time. Weight is a all normal height. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he's having his meal. He hears a load of screaming going on in the kitchen. Mm, hold on. Has his girlfriend wandered in there? <laughs> and they do, um... With a step ladder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the circumcised people in the kitchen and apparently- What are you talking about? <laughs> whoa, 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 slow down, slow down. We were Sorry. sidetracked there for a minute. What are you, you talking about? Well, I'm just excited about two things at once here. One, they circumcised people in the kitchen. <laughs> two, I guessed it was someone losing the end of their knob. <laughs> he did, yeah. I started thinking like Carl Pilkington. Extraordinary. That is amazing. Apparently it was- it was going on. It wasn't just a one-off either. Well, when I say a one-off, <laughs> I mean they did it more than once. Yeah. Right? Um, and there was, um, he was there for a week and apparently the first night it was quiet and then the rest of the week, every day, he'd be like having his- having his breakfast or even his lunch or even his tea. Yeah. Right? He'd be doing it all day. Oh. You'd be hearing Lunch screams. and breakfast, fair enough, really. Yeah, but it's it. tea time. Don't do that. Um, and apparently it's a tradition over there. You can't even make a complaint about it. It's like, well, you should have, you know, should have found out before you- you come over See, it. See, I can't believe this is Sorry, true. Sorry, I'm a little like, bit I lost. Can't the, the, this is he true. was in a restaurant, uh, uh, in a hotel, and there were people having circumcisions in uh, the in the kitchen. Yeah. In the, is that right? I, 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 I'm even worried that we're bordering on the racist here, suggesting that that is tradition that Turkish people cut the end of their cocks off in the kitchen. Yeah. At meal times. Mm. I think you're wrong, Carl. This just sounds ludicrous, Carl. No, I don't think it happens everywhere. Right. I think this just in oh, this, this hotel. Certain, certain places. <laughs> certain hotels. Certain hotels. What, is it like two star? Yeah. No, I, 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 that, Why did he go to the Foreskin Inn? <laughs> <laughs> it was his own fault, wasn't it? <laughs> so, that, that's- Sorry, that, that's it, is it? Have they clued- have so, they so, no, wait, 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 that's the story. You, you educated me, right? <laughs> Once a fella saw some <laughs> Turkish people cutting the tip of their- No, I'm off in the kitchen. <sighs> Thanks very much. <laughs> Thanks very much, Carl. Got any more? <laughs> Well, there's things you can learn from it. Either don't go to Turkey. No! <laughs> uh, don't have calamari when you're over there. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. uh, Carl, uh, you've done it again. Well. Excellent. You too. I love that one. On XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl. Okay, Carl, one more. Can we just- Don't get the ump, just because so far you've come up with nothing. What's the la last one? Give us the teaser clue again. It was, um, I want to come here in hindsight. I wouldn't have come here in hindsight. Yeah. Right, give me some thinking. education. This will be the thing that teaches me something. I can feel it in my bones. Come on. Uh, there's a kid in Kenya. Uh, -huh. uh he was messing about with some beans. <laughs> <laughs> Magic. We talk. guessed that as well. You did, yeah. Um. He's fed up because we've guessed his puns, I think. He put one of them in his ear. Yeah. Um. <laughs> The mum or the dad said, uh, oh, what have you done that for or whatever. Yeah. Um, so I'll have to take you to the doctors now. So they took the kid to the doctors and the doctor said, oh, he said, I can get that out, I can sort that out for you. So, um, he took it out and the doctor said, right, that's, uh, that's three pound fifty. <laughs> and the dad said, I've only got two seventy on me. And the doctor said, right, well. And put, he put the bean back in his his kid's ear. <laughs> 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 I I don't know what to say. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what to say. I mean, a couple of questions for me, very quickly. Are you sure that those were definitely the sums involved with it? <laughs> well, the equivalent of whatever right. whatever the deal with in in Kenya. Yeah, it was the equivalent of, of three hundred fifty-two. Oh, so 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 you so what currency was it, Carl? That you you translated into sterling? 
I don't know. No, it, no, it, it was saying in in the thing. It said the equi equivalent of three pound fifteen, two pound seven. Did yeah. it say that? Yeah. So did it like, say that? Yeah. Did Carl look at me? Look at me. Did it say that? Yeah. It said. It said that's that. That was the. Uh, did it say that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It did. <laughs> it, it, it definitely said that. Definitely. Yeah. So <sighs> it's just like I suppose. I don't know. I mean, all these things. The idea is, it's not like a lesson. It's like. I'll tell you this. See what you can get from it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so, so yeah. you look at what I've told you already. The, the yeah. knights who said shut your face. That's yeah, like that's that's amazing. That explains itself. Yeah. Um, turkey with the circumcisions in a restaurant. Yeah. That, know, that'll hold me in good stead. Yeah. Go don't on. don't go there. Or whatever. Yeah. This one. Um, if you're in Kenya, you don't put beans in your ears or something. I th <laughs> doctors <laughs> or like, carry three pounds fifty or the equivalent I mean, of. I, it's just the idea that the doctor put it back in his ear. He, yeah, he forced it back in his ear. So is it still there to this day? I mean, is there any update on that? Story? Or did he go back with the three fifty? I presume he either went and got a, like a second opinion, see if he could get it cheaper, right, by another doctor. Yeah. Or he said, right, I'll come back next week. Yeah. After I've been paid. Or he saw how the doctor did it and thought, well, I'll have a go at that. Sure. I'll get home. Yeah. For free. But he never said what it how it ended. No. No. But, I mean, I, I, I apologise for this week, so I mean, I, I, I haven't got that much out of it. <laughs> 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 you, you've not been enriched. Oh. Um, it was very, very light. Like I said, it was the, the tug of war. There was a fella in Scotland who had a load of tattoos. <laughs> okay. Is that it? Is uh, that the end of the story? Uh, ninety-eight percent covered. Right. Just between his toes he didn't have done. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Why not? Because it looks stupid. I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It just said it just said ninety eight percent um, done. Um, yeah. <laughs> what else? Are you, gonna, are you gonna drop the feature? Are you worried? I'm thinking about it. Don't drop be, the feature. To be honest with you, Heat have probably written about this already. This has been a classic. I, I'm con I'm concerned because it's my favourite part of the show. I'm wondering is, is there something else we could? Is it, what could we do to help you out? Because I just I hate to see it go. Well, we can't really, and he's moving this week with the old fella, so that's taking about yeah. four days. I'm worried that you're not. I'm worried you're not looking in the right. Why don't you go to a library? Mm. Quick question for you, Carl. Who is a possible guest on next week's Pilkington? Um, what are you going to investigate? I mean, what about your removals, oh, man? Right, listen. If you w if you've had a, a, a experience, it can be anything, right? It doesn't have to be you've seen a ghost. It can be that you've you, you know you think you're going to live forever, or you can you know do so. Any mentalist out there, if you if you're slightly you know wrong, if there's something wrong with you, just um, email, email Carl. Carl. Is it Carl dot Pilkington at xfm dot co uk? Yeah. Carl dot Pilkington at xfm dot co dot uk. Would you like to be interviewed on yeah. next week's edition yeah. of Pilkington? If you are a mental of any description, just lonely, bewildered, stupid, just something wrong with you. Right, and you've seen some that's you know interesting to you, but absolute bollocks. Then <laughs> please call Carl. <laughs> yeah, uh, Carl Dot Pilkington. Don't let that put you off. Can. By the way, don't me think. Oh, they're going to take the piss out of me. Just if you know, in any way, if it's you know uh, fodder for us, then call up because Carl will like you. You'll be friends with Carl. Mm -hmm. Won't you? Yeah. Quick, the clues. What's the answers? We always do this. We're running so out of time. Don't worry, we've got a tune and then we'll come back with the answers from sure. Rockbusters. A lot of great prizes. Alright, then. Um, we'll have a bit of uh, cash. Johnny yeah. Cash, one of the prizes we're giving away. Johnny Cash and Desperado. That's from his new album, uh, which is a collection of new songs and covers, which is one of the prizes given away on this week's Rockbusters. And, uh, can we have the clues and the answers and the winners? Yeah. Um, first one was Stop Throwing That Fruit About. Stop throwing that fruit about. The that answer was is C B. That was Chuck Berry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course it was. Okay. All yeah, right. I'll give you that. Um, the one that you've worked out, I'll do next. The yeah. uh, God, you make a load of toast with them. That Grillers. was G. Gorillas. Gorillas, though, isn't it? Gorillas. Um, and the middle one <laughs> was that Scottish fellas made an error. That was Mystique. <laughs> <laughs> Mystique. <laughs> Mystique. <laughs> So, <laughs> oh, did anyone get that? Extraordinarily, almost all the people who emailed in and I'm an really, I'm going to right. think it's us then it's because uh, I, I was thinking mistake. I was thinking muck error yeah. and muck mistake and but mistake. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, do you want to pick a winner? Yeah, I was going to give it, the the prizes to uh, Amy Massey, who's uh, from Wiltshire, the West Country. <laughs> Losers down there, probably as weird as you. Yeah. 
So, uh, she's won and congratulations to her. I'm assuming she's listening online or maybe, uh, via some kind of- We, um, must, well, we must have a lot of listeners outside London because all these are from Norwich and- yeah. Yeah. Have we got any listeners in London? Places, you know, it's where there's a lot of inbreeding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's nothing else to do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Norwich and Wiltshire. Well, you know, cheers for that, Amy. Well done. He yeah. waved then when he said that. He did, yeah. He yeah. waved. He's, he's working. No, he's working, uh, getting ready for TV. Of course he is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think so it's coming. So is this week? Could, is it? Can it be arranged for this week? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll sort it out. Well, Thanks I'm busy so. this week. I'm moving. Of course. Yeah. So let's let's talk about that. Right. Um, and you can do you can do an edition of Cribs. Well, you, <laughs> like, they get rock stars to show them around there. Oh, we're done. Home. We're done now. It's it finished. Sorry, was I boring you? What day well, are you it's moving? It's been pretty bad today. It's been pretty bad. What are you talking about? Oh, no, I was talking and you just went anyway. Well, uh, we're still on that. You know we, we're still on that. time now. We're well, out of time. It's six minutes to. I know, but we've got to finish now. Why? Because we've. We always do this. What, 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 what? Why are you getting stressed, Carl? Don't get- you do not cut me off when I'm talking. Whatever you do. Can I just remind you, Carl, it is Ricky's show. Yeah. I know, I know, but as the producer- Ooh, you've well, changed, go on, Carl. Go on, go on. As the producer, I've got to press this button. Why, though? At six minutes two? Tell me why, tell me why. Because that's when it finishes. What, we've we finished- We've got clear net for the next- On the poster it says one to three, it doesn't say one to two fifty-five. Right. You